Good afternoon, welcome to Saturday Afternoon Sport. Round three in the VFL, our match of the day is Box Hill versus North Ballarat from City Oval, Box Hill. Joining me now, Clinton Gribus and Phil Cleary. How are you boys coping in the land of teetotalers? <laughs> I'm fine, Bev. Phil had a uh, pretty late reunion <laughs> last night for old footy teams and you know how they can end up. <laughs> and I just need a beer, Beverly, and I can't get one here, but I have to wait till later on, but there you go. But your hair looks gorgeous too. <laughs> I was going to say, say, am I allowed nice, to say yeah. that? Yes, you're allowed Thank to you. say that. <laughs> Very kind of you. Such a rare compliment from the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> but in all sincerity, Bevy. Now, look, we are looking forward to today's game, Box Hill against North Ballarat. As you mentioned, the North Ballarat team, Phil, coming down to Box Hill. Both teams with a lot to play for. Neither of them have got a win on the board to this stage. North Ballarat losing in round one, had the bye last week, while Box Hill have lost their opening couple of matches. So, it really, if early on in the season, a pivotal game for the two teams. Yeah, look, the Box Hill side was all right against Sandy, they tell yeah. me. And North Ballarat, Bev, one of the sides for the big game, yeah. I reckon, in the at the end of the year at Port Melbourne. They're a bit of a chance. So be interesting to see how they go. Let's have a look at the rooms. The players just warming up at the moment, ready to come out onto the ground. Andrew Tranquilly, Gary w Darren Wilkinson heading the cast for the Box Hill side. Wilkinson up forward has been terrific early on for the Box Hill team. While North Ballarat, I mentioned, they had a close match first up against Port Melbourne. They lost that by just six points. They've got a new recruit, former North Melbourne player Julian Kersner in the side. They had the bye last week. Before we hand it back to Bev Phil, uh, just an early prediction on this one. I think North Ballarat would be uh, uh, too good. Uh, Jared Fitzgerald's got a pretty good side there in uh, North Ballarat. They're good on the deck and the two blokes up forward, the recruits, should give them the nod, I reckon. Should be a terrific game. And did you hear on 3 a couple of weeks ago we found out Bev's nickname? No. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel, back to you. Oh, I played on a bloke called Terry Wheeler whose nickname was Squirrel, the Squirrel too. And probably for the same reason, Phil, so <laughs> I, I don't think I want to go into it right now. <laughs> back to you fellows in just a moment. But let's uh, go back out to Box Hill and uh, let's hope it's as close a match as last weekend's, lads. Indeed, Bev. It was terrific, wasn't it, last week when Williamstown kicked two goals in time under the last quarter to beat Coburg in an absolute thriller. There is the North Ballarat team. What a season they had last year. Box Hill finished last season in style. They really did. Obviously, they were well out of finals contention, but they are hoping for a good year this year. At the moment, though, as we check the ladder, it has not started out that way. They're on the bottom. They lost to Sandringham by 36 points in round one, and last week went down to Port Melbourne. The undefeated Port Melbourne by 58 points. The Borough, along with Werribee, the only two unbeaten teams in terms of two wins and no defeats after round two. Sandringham, a win and a draw. There are the leading goal kickers, although according to my figures, Darren Wilkinson has kicked 11 over the opening two weeks. Maybe he will tell us, Phil, because those great forwards certainly do know how many they've kicked each week. Well, he's a key player, Wilkinson. He is the man that uh, North Ballarat has to stop, and he's certainly the man who can take Box Hill home. And there you see him at full forward. Slater playing centre-half forward. He's also played in the ruck. Tranquilly, a well-known performer there. Nickel, well-known around VFA, VFL Traps 2, and Disney in the back pocket. They've been building a lot of young players over the last few years. Johnny Murphy stood down this year, and uh, Brendan Mason took over. Mason, of course, from up Bush, um, spent a lot of time around the Ballarat region, and then out Coached in the under-18s. Eastern Rangers yep. in the under-18s, yeah. And comes with good credentials. So there's that Box Hill side. And this side, North Ballarat, Clinton, I think they're a bit of a chance. Kersner at full forward. Very important player. The Polking Horns uh, always get plenty of the ball. And last year in the finals, weren't they super? At ground level, they were brilliant. And that's where they really fire up. Big ground this one out here at Box Hill. A lot of space. You can get caught out going too wide. A lot of traffic, it seems, in the background there. I don't know whether that's City Link or what. 
down on the boundary line, a chance for me to say good afternoon to Ross Booth. He was late arriving to the ground, Phil, and apparently he's in a bit of a bad mood. So, Ross, be happy, son. Oh, Clinton, how could you say that? I'm in a very good mood. And, Phil, that was a truck going up Middleborough Road. They're trying to get the traffic off the suburban <laughs> streets. <laughs> and while I'm in a good mood, lesson. I noticed that uh, you're disappointed in the inside footy that... Um, you weren't uh, even invited to the Logies, but Clint and I came up with this. This is all we've got for you. I wouldn't spoon, Phil. I'll give it to you later. Conditions are pretty good here at Box Hill. Uh, slight breeze favouring the uh, right of screen because we're on the other side of the ground. That's the northern end. And John Polkinghorne has won the toss and will kick that slight breeze. The city of Whitehorse, you can see, have done a bit of work over the summer on the ground. A beautiful uh, uh, Terraces there, Phil, as you always talk about, so it'd be nice here to stand at Box Hill and uh, watch the game on the terraces. Both sides are reasonably quiet before the game, uh, out on the ground a long time, getting the feel of this ground, which you can see has been cut up a little bit by the drainage. But uh, can I assure you, everybody, Phil and Clinton, I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Thanks, Ross. It's always a very long afternoon when you're in a bad mood, let me assure you. Our umpires for the main game. This afternoon, he's always in a good mood. In fact, let's check the reserve score played out on the beautiful ground. North Ballarat having a good start to the day. 53 point winners, 20 goals, 7, 127 to 11, 8, 74. The Roosters home over Box Hill. Now to our umpires, David Ackland, Wes Mann and Stefan Grunin. You can tell us a little bit about those three gentlemen. Yes, uh, Ackland loves cricket, tennis, bar, something, ball and swimming. Wes Mann likes golf and Stefan Grun likes music and PlayStation. How about what's PlayStation? That's the little, little Nintendo game Sony oh, computer yeah. games. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're just about ready to start here. Well, this signs it's going to be a very long afternoon. Hope you can stay with us, Box Hill and North Ballarat. We are having a lot of fun at the footy. Round three, match of the round, and if Box Hill are to be a contender this year, they must win today. Otherwise, if they start the season Norton three. They are going to be in a lot of trouble. Box Hill are off to the left of screen to start. North Ballarat heading to the right, as Phil mentioned, the coaches. Jared Fitzgerald of North Ballarat and Brendan Mason, the coach of the Box Hill side, the former Eastern Rangers coach. He played footy at Essendon, the under-19s and the reserves, and then played some country football and came into coaching via Dalesford East Ballarat, Northern United, Port Ferry. So he's done a few rounds. Underway in the match of the round, and North Ballarat immediately force it forward. A chance now for the opening kick for King Inkster, just gets a little hand pass away, hurried forward by Cuthbertson, almost half a free kick it was signs that the umpires are going to let them play that was a good tackle applied by Cunningham of Box Hill and we will have a bounce the dreadlocks are flowing for the Box Hill side plenty of players around the bounce Rowe dragged off it Chance for Holland, heads for the boundary line. And it'll be a boundary throw in. What about that look, Phil? Do you like those dreadlocks? Well, yeah. Yeah, the, the what we call that a goatee beard too, I think. Yeah. Yep. Ross would like to grow one if he, if he could. Now a chance for the Roosters, but out over the boundary line. Peak and Travis Polkinghorn was there. The Polkinghorns in action today. Often we had... Three of them playing on the same day last season. We've got John number 24 and Travis number 27 playing today. From the boundary throw in, dragged off without it was Edmonds. Socket forward by Jerika, the former Richmond player in the AFL. Sets up Edmonds running towards goal. He's pushed Another late. Kick. It'll be a free kick coming back. They certainly went through for a behind. So a chance for Michael Edmonds to get the opening score on the board. Where's Man, the officiating umpire there. Yes, well, Edmonds, of course, the oldest player, I would think. At uh, he's about going on about 33. There's Jared Fitzgerald in the box. Had a big year with the uh, Roosters last year. This fellow, Edmonds, a very good kick on the left side. Of course, would have thought he'd pinched that one. Then should have kicked it. But he was just slightly off the line, but he'll put this one through, Clinton. And he does just that. It took two minutes, but the Roosters are on the board first, getting the opening goal and the match of the round. He's been a pretty durable player, Roscoe, hasn't he, Edmonds? You know, we thought last year he mightn't be up to it with his age, you know, in that fast final, but he actually was quite a good performer in those finals. He's a smart player, a beautiful left footer, and he gets a fair bit of the ball. Sometimes I had the feeling that he might tire towards the end of a game. Anyway, the centre bounce. 
and just beautiful Box Hill ground. Done a lot of work, and as Ross said, City of Whitehorse, the council really weighing in. Mustangs into attack towards Rowe. Off the ground out of Brewer's hands. Wide. No chance for the Roosters. And it's kicked wide by it's Matthew Mackay. Mackay. Yes, now we had Phil Matthew McKay from Frankston. This Matthew is a Matthew Mackay. Well, Matthew McKay left Frankston and a Matthew oh, yeah, Mackay right yeah. arrived. So hang on, hang on. there you down. go. Disney to put down. the ball back into play. That's uh, Whitehorse Road in the background. Good view there. Zone defence is out. Go, go, Where will go. he go? Good choice. To Good Wilt. choice. Yes, big Andrew Nickel. Brebner running past, but he ignores him. Wide looking for Cunningham. And he's been penalised. Gee, that's a tough decision. No. Well, it's going to Holland, the free kick. So you got a perfect view there, Roscoe, of uh, how Nickel was able to take that kick out. The art of kicking out these days, very, very important. Short to Brebner, ex Collingwood. Sinks it towards half forward. Oh, and a strong mark to Gerstmann. The youngster fell from Scotch College, not old Scots, but straight out of school, and they've got some hopes for him. He goes into the pocket, ignoring the goals. Looking for Wilkinson, just on the half volley, and uh, hurried over the line by the Rooster defence. Darren Wilkinson been in form, as you said, Phil. Yeah, he's a class act, isn't he? Tell you what, in a top side, he would be a 100-goal kicker without a doubt, Roscoe. Hancock got first hand to it to clear it away for the Roosters. High kick up towards Jerika on the middle of your screen. Number seven working hard, knocks it down to Inkster. They're losing ground, but they've gathered possession cleanly. Kick forward by Matthew Peake up towards the 50. That was good play by the Roosters. Now, Julian Kersner, the former North Melbourne star in the AFL. Well, perhaps not a star, but he certainly played some matches. Kicked three goals in the opening match. A six-point loss to Port Melbourne. And I'd say this would be well within his range at 55. Right on the end of it anyway. The right footer kick from Kersner. And on the end of his range, about a metre short, rushed through for one behind. And some of the youngsters enjoying the footy here at uh, Box Hill City Oval. Uh, one's more intent on uh, his chocolate bar, I think, Philip. Yes. At that age, you can understand. Disney to put the ball back. Tries Nickel again. And Cunningham, though, will get their first sport cleverly. The hand pass out. Falling for Poggyhorn. He's well tackled. There's Ingster. He can't get away from Brebner. And there'll be a bounce on the half forward line, just inside the 50 metre line. The Mustangs and the Roosters. Cunningham. High tackle on Jerika. Let go. Edmonds was quick to peak. Centering kick is all right. Kersner flies. At the four was Tim Clark, number one. Couldn't get it. McCartney. Oh, chance for Wright. Maybe get a free kick. No, not paid. And then he's finally tackled after the whistle went round the neck. But I guess there's no free there, Philip. That was a stampede, Roscoe. And the umpires decided an infringement. He'll pay one of those little dodgy free kicks that they sometimes pay. And Haberfield takes it, sends it wide to the outer side. That's good for Nickel. From half back, kick towards the wing. Clark in front, over the top. The attempted flight by Georgiatis didn't come off. Now a chance for North Ballarat. Here's Edmonds. Gee, he's been prominent early, hasn't he? Runs away from Brewer. Kicks inside yeah. 50. Perfect. Oh, McKay dropped the mark, but he really should have taken. He had that spent. He was thinking, do I play on and go for home or do I go back and take my set shot? And in the end, he forgot about taking the mark. So throw in. Lost his balance there in, in front, front of a big foot. Yeah. <laughs> From the throw in over the top, Tranquilly says, let's do it again in front of the big foot. So uh, Disney has the job on Kersner at full forward. It'll be an interesting one. He's been around a bit, Disney. Former two AFL well, former names out there, Tranquilly well, as well, alongside of Jerika there. Collingwood versus Richmond. That's happening today. Bev will have score updates for you over the course of the afternoon. Dooley kicks towards the wing, close to the boundary line. Jenkins is there, sees it over. Phil, I think Disney himself had a run at uh, Madeline Hawthorne. Yes. That's Jenkins there with uh, Kennedy. Don't lock it up, guys. Clear. 20, 20, Clear. You know, he's about 24, going on 25, Disney. Cutting him in front. Won it. Around the corner from Haberfield. 
All right, into Brewer, centre man. Looking for Wilkinson on a lead. Oh, good play by Snips, and the spoil was right with the dangerous forward. And a free kick going the Roosters' way to Edwards. Winner of the... Phil, is a trivia question. The best and fairest in the reserves last year. What's the medal called? The Todd medal? I think it might be. Fisher receives a hand pass from Marahi. I wasn't quite sure myself. That's why I asked you. Inkster. Good little click into open space for McDonald. Up towards Orth. Kershaw's going to get a free. Oh, dear me. Was that a free, Ross? I mean, yes, it was in that it was paid, but didn't think there was much in it. There's a few supporters there on that beautiful terrace. And centering towards Brewer and half back. Good use of the ball. No one within Kui of Andrew Tranquilly. Sort of half back. Crisscrossing the ground here at Box Hill. Finding Georgie Artis to McCartney. And he's pushed as after he kicked it. And Nichols should take the advantage. Standing still. To the big Rackman. Oh, fine smother. By the Roosters. Look, uh, Cunningham slaps on again. The hand pass out to Pockenhorn and up and under. Two Mustangs fly. McCartney's got it. Has to try hard to keep it from going out in the full, but he didn't do well enough. And a penalty. So you wouldn't want to go too much game. wider, would you? No, for it's not going very oh. far at all at the like, moment. It's like the goalposts are on the outer side of the ground. Jerika had three or four metres on his opponent, who better smarten up, because otherwise Jerika will have plenty of possessions here today. He loads it up from 65, kicks it to the square, wait for the Flyers, or oh, a couple of them there, Inkster and Kersner, and the mark has been paid. Number eight, says the umpire. Inkster's got it, and this should be their second goal. A good start for the Roosters in the opening cup of ten minutes. Box Hill without a shot on goal at this stage. Free kick, I fancy, was paid there. I think he held it, though. It was fair enough. So, a chance now for Tim Inkster. Should have no problems. He's got it. So, after 10 minutes, the North Ballarat side off to an excellent start. Inkster gets his first goal for the day. And it is the Roosters 2-2. Box Hill yet to score. Ross Poo. Well, Phil, I know how you love the country. And uh, it's good to see that Warwick Nabil boy, Inkster. Moving down to the big city in Ballarat. Yes. Having out of Fairfield footy. His man there, David Holland. Well, uh, you know, look, North Ballarat's going to be a really big player in the new Victorian football uh, set-up. They're a terrific club, and look, to get these two forwards, Jerica and Kersner, I think really set them, will set them up well. And if Hancock in the ruck can uh, do the job. Yeah. They've got uh, good financial backing, North Ballarat, and that helps them. Here comes Clark, streaming through the middle, heading goalward over Kersner's head, but just wide. No! Oh, got in. Straight. So, Box Hill get the score, and the Mustangs are already 23 goals too, after 11 minutes of the first third quarter. Well... You know, Ross, I keep saying this small brigade for box uh, for North Ballarat is the key. Uh, what I mean is that they're so good at ground level. Now, if they can add to that some cl quality player, bigger players, key position, gee, they're going to be a good side. This kid, Clark, I really like him. Free kick from the bounce. It will go Box Hill's way. Too many North Ballarat men inside the centre square. So Cunningham, the ruckman for Box Hill to take it, drives them towards full forward. Wilkinson from behind, or in fact might not have been there on that play. Slater. Hand pass comes away. Giannopoulos hurries it forward from 45, wrestling the square. There's Wilkinson. North Ballarat defence, excellent. Can see behind Box Hill's first score. And the punch came via Kieran Murray. Yes. Murray, we saw a bit of him. There he is, the redhead. Not that redhead, the other redhead. We saw a bit of him uh, last year. Was it the year no, before? Was in actually, fact, two it's years his ago. brother, Phil. Oh, I, is it? I believe, yes. According to the Ballarat officials, they should, yeah, should know. Yes, had me filled too. Andrew Nickel pushing it sideways, but to the advantage of Dooley for Box Hill. Good centering kick. It wobbles a bit. Didn't favour Wilkinson. I'll take back what I said. Here's Edwards. The back pocket over the top. So Reig, Travis Reig. Jerika the target. Oh, good spoil by Nickel. A double fisted punch away. Must have learned that at the Witten Oval, Phil, where there'll be a big game tomorrow. Williamstown and Werribee. 
Yep. He's left Adam Jenkins. There last year. Sorry, left Adam Jenkins a little bit sore after that one. Don't lock it up, guys. Don't Jerica lock looks it up. Uh, mean man, doesn't he? He certainly does. From the throw, and here is the aforementioned Jenkins does well to get the hand pass to Travis Polkinghorne. Hurries it up towards half forward. Off hands, Inkster does well. Gets it to Cuthbertson. Drives it long and long. Kersner getting back, but it was well read by his opponent on that occasion in Jason Disney, who sends play to the outer side. This is McCartney taking the mark. Plays on now with a handball over the top. This is looking a lot better. Georgiades to Collings. Handball ran away from him. They've worked it up to the wing. Collings now kicks towards half forward. Contest there between Gersman and Fisher. North Ballarat defence, though. They're looking pretty good at this stage. Oh, yeah, it's hurry yes. towards Edmonds. Gee, started well. Clark stabs at it. Good mark, Kersner. Gee, they the transition are was good. terrific. They are looking good. And re keep in mind, you called Cuthbertson. Remember, Ross they had to use him at full forward last year. He was one of their key marks yeah. play. Now they can move him up the ground. And aren't they slick when they deliver the ball to leads like this? They're going to be a dangerous side. Clark there slipping that beautiful pass in. We might get the numbers on Edmonds as well, I'd say. He would have had five possessions across the opening 14 minutes. This is certainly in Kersner's range, and he's got it. They've got four. Roosters are on the march. Kersner gets his first. North Ballarat by 25 points. I read during the week that Gerald Fitzgerald felt that they uh, North Ballarat didn't use the ball very well and they'd concentrated on a more effective kicking. If that's the case, it seems to have worked, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I suppose what I mean, uh, they won so, much, so many contests at ground level last year. That's where they were really strong. I didn't think they used the ball too badly, but... No, last two weeks ago. Uh, the, just he's talking about at least two weeks, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Well, they're certainly pretty sharp today, aren't they? Oh, Pognon just left it behind. Yours. Mustangs coming the other way through. Brett Rowe. Good spoil by Murray. Chance. Snap. Got it. Stianopoulos. First major on the board for the Mustangs. It took 15 minutes and uh, after North Ballarat had kicked four, but a badly needed goal there yeah, coming from Giannopoulos. Giannopoulos. Yasu. Um, Polika La Roscoe. And you see here as he slips that one through. That's a good piece of play. Uh, Slater there getting his hands on the ball. They've got to get those, they've got to get those two big targets in into the game, uh, Wilkinson and Slater. Well, he came from the Eastern Rangers along with the coach, Brendan Mason, so he's well known to the coach. 26 plays seven. Halfway through this opening quarter. And you're at Box Hill City Oval. Cunningham... Again, from the ruck contest, winning it down convincingly. But a chance for Rye. Hurries it forward for the Roosters, the intended target. Stay there now, stay there. Mackay, but Jared Dooley is there to drive Box Hill towards half forward. Playing in front, you'll get the advantages. Pays off for Gersman. James Gersman too far out to score. Drives it towards full forward. Over the top, not quite taking the mark. Brewer going through without it. Will dragged down. It was a good tackle applied on Kennedy. Jenkins was the initial flyer. Thanks, Ross. We'll have a bounce. 40 out from the Box Hill goal. Here's the tackle again. That's a good double tackle on Mark Kennedy. And then stacks on the mill. From the bounce, Pete bumped off it. Ugly pack will do it again. That's a term I like to hear. It's great to see you reviving those old cliches. Stacks on the mill. That just has such powerful imagery, doesn't it? It does. Inside 50 for the Mustangs. Brett Rowe playing with the ball away from well Pete. Done. Pete Peak. Said, is it enough? Where's Slater? There he is, a big fellow. Oh, normally a second, three grabs. Still, mobility. Time to feed off the hand pass. Brewer's a left footer. This should help. Can he kick equally well, well either foot? At the back, the spoil was Snipson. Oh, Brebner left it behind. Jenkins a chance. He's got it. He likes the look on his face, tells him he's got it. Second goal on the board for the Mustangs. And they draw within 13 points. 26 to 13, 17 minutes gone. Well, there you go. Eh? You can think a side's on a roll, as North Ballarat was, and that they're going to power on at four goals to nothing, Clinton. And all of a sudden, they pull two back. And they've been pretty good in these two instances. Ball on the deck. The big bloke there, Wilkinson, you saw number seven in the contest. And both of those goals have come from the two big blokes, from uh, Slater and Wilkinson, getting their hands on the ball, dropping, as they say, Clinton front and square. Yes, a couple of opportunist goals for the Mustangs. Gets them back 
to within 13 points. Now, from the centre clearance, they're going to come up with possession again. Perhaps a chance to try and sit something up. The ball bounced through Slater. This is right now for the Roosters. Hurries a kick towards the middle. Don't you love the way the Aussie rules football bounces? Clark can set up the Roosters here. Kersner in front goes to the back of the pack. They've got time to double back and steady to Box Hill. They head towards the line. I thought Disney was going to try and take it over. They managed to keep it in. Oh, over the top. Good mark. Ooh. Well done, Darren Cuppinson. Gee, he's got good hands. A dangerous player out at half forward if he's mobile enough. Mackay, good pass, Cuthbertson. Mackay had to wait for a moment. Jenkins, in fact. Now, Ross, Kieran Murray, are you saying that's the brother of the... Wasn't it Kieran who played here at North Ballarat? I expect to have... Well, look, I've got me. I mean, North Ballarat official, who shall remain nameless now, told me that it was his brother. Well, an official told me that that Condon boy was the grandson of Jack Condon last week, and he's not. So I'm sorry about that to the young Condon boy. And I think as Jenkins shot for goal, is a goal. Just squeezing through. The record says Murray has, play, has played 18 VFL games. 19 minutes gone, 19-point margin. Oh, well, it's a, there's definitely a current affair story there for me well I, I mean it just don't listen to what people say so I'm, I'm, as I said I've got to apologize to um to Condon he's actually the, the grandson that's the Coburg boy of Pee Wee Condon who played at North Melbourne who I think is a cousin of the said Condon that I said this boy was descended from if that all makes sense yeah, well, check your sources as well yeah check yeah. your sources Phil yeah whatever you think Phil <laughs> 32 to 13, 19 and oh, a half. I mean, I've started a clan war out there in Coburg, <laughs> not getting the bloodlines wrong, so I hope I've clarified that and uh, I'm not yeah. on the assassination list now. It's cleared it up for me, Ross. That's what right. about you? Yeah. Oh, clear as, exactly. clear yeah. as mud. A volley. And in front, it's Gerstman. Oh, he's a solid boy. This will be a big kick, Roscoe. No breeze to speak of, was there? No, just a trifle to uh, the right of screen. Uh, John Pottingham fancied that in when he won the toss. Big Ooh, kick. That's a big... Slightly won't get the distance. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Wilkinson. What a player. Well, you know, Ross, when he's got that couple of yards to run and jump, isn't he dangerous? He's got a big leap off a standing start, too. It takes a lot of work to get the ball out of his hands. But when he comes in, as you see him come in here, there's no doubt what's going to happen. Look where he is. You can see he's got a clear run. And you see there uh, the player, Snipson, didn't cut off his run to the ball. He should have found his body. Legally. Yes. Subtly. Got to move back and stop the run, but he gave him those couple of yards and he went in unimpeded. Flag. Beautiful camera work Almost there. Still behind the goal. Got it. Widens the angle. Kicks the goal. Touched. Hit the post. Took, hit the paintwork. Whitehorse, City of Whitehorse. New paint on the goal post. Oh, that's killed me. I'd love to see that again. Thing like a bit of controversy. Nothing like it. Peter Waitman there, I think I spotted. The yes. uh, VFA representative coach and former Preston VFA VFL. VFL. Uh, former, <laughs> I was going to say former VFA Preston champion. That would be uh, quite accurate. Tranquilly. Gathered the news, the loose ball nicely. Brewer. Haberfield. Handball over the top. Just to an opponent though there in Kennedy. Boundary line throwing. So North Ballarat, 5-2 two, to 2-2, two, two, early into time on. Quarter number one here at Box Hill City Oval. Overcast day, potential for rain here this afternoon. We hope it holds off. On the throw in, dragged off it, Jenkins, Edmonds, Ooh, twisting, to go into the left turning, foot there. getting around Brewer. Kennedy, oh, that was a nice touch, ends up with Kennedy now. Kick towards the wing. Jerika has three to beat. Oh, and he does very well. The handball over the top for Rige, and now they're on the break. Ah, uh, the Roosters driving kick by Fisher. Goes past Kersner. Foot race now. Cuthbertson gets their snaps on goal. Won't get it. It's a behind. As Phil Cleary puts down the bag of potato chips in the back there. It was actually one of those, uh, one of those chocolate things. The crunchy bar. There's Jared Fitzgerald in that little box there on the northwestern side of the ground. Yeah, he's got no time for a crunchy bar. McCartney for Box Hill, keeping it very wide. Bit of a push there. Getting away with his uh, Collings. Now, uh, Georgiatis. To centre wing. Pushed forward by Jenkins. Good Jenkins drives. 
unbelievably high. Well, I don't think it was. Was it his teammate? I would have thought that was just a collision. Ooh, and, uh, a bit of an that actually, after he'd gone past the hand, the backhand had collected him. <laughs> Still oh. penalty fell. No, it is kicking. in the amateurs, I know, Roscoe. This is man's football. Son. Clinton fake. Oh, not Clinton fake. Oh! Peak off the ground. Touched. Oh. Oh, oh he's at the centre of oh. some controversy. That goal umpire. Right, was oh. it? And even the policeman there is having a bit of there a smile. Again. Let's see it. I think it is. Oh. oh. I tell you what. Kicked we out his hand. Out at the AFL oh. game the other week was paid a goal, wasn't it? There it Remember? is again. That's a, he thought he had it too. Did what? row. Wow. Who was it in the AFL kicked that ball out? Yes, Ruin was soccer through yeah, for a goal. they played it as a goal. Here's Dooley. Box Hill on the break. They're on the warpath now. Long kick. Full forward. Wilkinson back. He might rove this one. Brewer there as well. Oh. They can see to behind. Now, is that, is, now, that behind should count because the ball really had gone through. No, not all clear. No behind. Interesting there. That time, Snipson, I think it was Snipson, or certainly North Ballarat player, got in the road of Wilkinson. He wasn't able to get that clear run to the ball, which is good play. Gee, you got to thought he conceded the behind before he was dragged down. Anyhow, murrahee has got it. Sends it out very, very wide. They like to go wide on the flanks here, and Polkinghorn John's got it. Well, it's... A little bit of controversy early this match. Marahi back to Polkinghorne. Get rid of it, guys. High kick up towards Hancock. Over his head. The tall man lumbers after it. Gathers it now. Good little slick oh. handball. One handball too many from Peak. Stolen by Tranquilly. Go short for Brebner. Box Hill away. Oh, it was a little bit high from Giannopoulos. He might end up getting it back. Wrestling with his opponent. Still working, Ginopolis, number 37 for Box Hill. Goes out wide. Jenkins is there. Working hard was Edwards of oh, the Roosters. High ball forward by McCartney. That was good. Haberfield for Box Hill. Kicks it inside 50. Wilkinson pushed underneath it. Will get a free. No, he won't. It's going the way of the Roosters. They're out of trouble through Travis Polkinghorn. He's short to peak, who's pacey. Saw him in the finals last year. Not much of him, but very effective kick for Kersner in front of Disney. He once they get a space in midfield, they're deadly, aren't they, Phil? Yep. And uh, when they get that break, you got no hand. Disney had no hope there against Kersner. He'd be within range. I reckon he just about put this one over the goalie's head. 52 metres out. And you think he has, Phil? Touched the claiming. I don't think so. Oh. No. Well, it might have been touched over the line. Six goals on the board to the Roosters. Two to Kersner. And that's quite a healthy lead of 24 points. Well, look, they're doing all right, Box Hill, in general play, but they're not using the ball as neatly and missing out in their forward line with Wilkinson and uh, the big bloke Slater are not quite taking the marks that they should. But the, once they split the, the play open North Ballarat, they're very dangerous, Roscoe. I think it'll be a pretty good side this year. They are looking good, aren't they? Back in the centre. Ruckman go at it. Cunningham initially got it down. That's a free kick for Brebner. The dreadlock one. He'll be easy to pick over the course of the afternoon. Handle off to Tranquilly. Now he can load it up and drive the Mustangs deep towards full forward. But gee, there's no one home. Going at it uncontested. Murray couldn't pull it down. In the end, somehow gets a kick away. Cuthbertson on all fours. Ooh. That's a free kick going the way of Travis Polkinghorn. <laughs> Things aren't going Box Hill's way at the moment. Polkinghorn squares it up. It's OK Ooh. as Rye takes it. Met late by Mate Wilkinson. 50 metre to there. Rye short through the middle. That's good. Hancock to Polkinghorn. This is a good setup. Just won't quite reach the intended target Fisher. Tranquilly, the former Magpie, cuts it off. McCartney hurries a handball to Holland. Kicks it out wide towards the wing on the bounce. It will be taken by Jenkins. Got it now. Has to hurry a kick away, but it's okay for Haberfield. Will it sit up for him? It does. Haberfield now loads it up. Goes towards Wilkinson. He's got the front position. Yes. And he's got it. You could see there how he just lent into Snipson, wasn't it? Yep. He just sticks the backside out. If we get another shot, see how he just holds him out. That's really good play there. Peter Waitman there over the fence getting a very, very good view of just how Wilkinson took that mark. Tight angle here from Wilkinson, just a few metres inside of the boundary line. 
<laughs> the trainer's being sent off in the background. Good to hear. Wilkinson on the siren. Big kick. Got it. Oh, that was very important. He gets his first goal of the match right on. Quarter time. The opening term running 27.50. And boy, did Box Hill need that. Here it is again, the setup. Well, he's had to try to take too many marks under pressure, whereas up the other end, uh, they've been able to deliver the ball to their forwards. But when he's in that situation, he's one out and he's got you just behind and your, your feet are flat on the ground, you're in a bit of trouble. Snipson hasn't got a lot of height. To get the ball away from Wilkinson is a fair ask. It's a good game, though, Clinton. Box Hill, still, they're doing all right. They're only three goals down. If they can deliver the ball to their forwards, if they can get Slater in to take a couple of grabs, that's basically the only difference. And North Ballarat are just a bit sharper in the midfield, causing them uh, some consternation, I would think. At quarter time, North Ballarat 6-3, 39. Box Hill 3-3, 21. Kersner, the only multiple goal kicker. To quarter time, Bev, it's been entertaining. North Ballarat looking good at the first break. Back now to Box Hill, and whose huddle will we go into the, for the first one, boys? Would you like North Ballarat, Bev? I'll take that. OK, let's go and listen to Jared Fitzgerald. Box Hill's first two kickings. Now what? We had three in our first line. So something's wrong that side well, cover. Well, we've got to make sure that we follow plans. It's no good as having these sort of plans and strategies because where they go, particularly the last one, they went short. He fumbled it. Now there's a bit more heat on him. On. I felt that they went outside their plan and just kicked it long really to no one. We spoiled that and did very, very well. So come on, stay alert. Now this it's this side now that pushes up to make that fourth line. And remember our overall commitment when they kick the ball in is to reduce it back. Bring it back to a 50-50 or better. They've got the ball at the moment. If we can bring it back to a 50-50, that's terrific. And that's our game plan. That's our style of play. Yeah. It's all right for you kicking in there, though, because of your match-up situation. But Shane clearly demonstrated that Bullseye was the first kick. But we weren't there. So it's just that, isn't it? We've got to make sure we are switched on straight away. And the moment you leave here and the ump has got the ball bounced, we are not just switched on, but we're 100% switched on, that our concentration can't be changed. It's, it's at it, it's disciplined, it's there. We can't ever let it go. Our result can't be a test like that. Their first two goals were from crumbing players. Two things that we've got to make sure we do. When we spoil the ball, we belt it fiercely and strong right out of that area, so it's clobbered out of that area, and our on-ball players must make sure that you've turned and you've gone back fiercely to be in there as well. So remember, belt the spoil the defenders, on-ballers get in there so that we provide a contest at ground level, or it's belted right out of that area. Brad, every time you've just got to make a contest. Every time it's near you, Brad, if you keep doing that, that's exactly what we're looking for. At centre-half forward, Stephen, the contest was terrific. Julian, your leads were from well back, and they were long and strong, and that was good. And there were spaces that were open as a result of the long lead that we were starting to run into, and it's a very exciting movement forward. You know that. It doesn't have to go towards one bloke. Open up, kick it into the area, left vacant by the leading player. Centre clearances weren't good. I just felt a couple of times we were too far back in there, so we'll sort that out, John, in there, make sure our blokes are in there nice and close into the area that we've got to be. Our one percenters. Excellent. Come on. 24 of them. Shepherds, terrific. Come on. Eight of them. We haven't had those sort of stats before, and we're playing as a result of it. Come now, on. another five minutes Don't here stop. to really test our resolve out. Oh. Don't ease up at all. Go a bit harder. We're going to hurt these blokes now. A change of emotion late in his address there, Jared Fitzgerald, yeah. really sparking them up. He was quiet and calm and composed early on, and then really let them have it and talking about those one percenters. As we check some of the highlights to the first quarter, Edmonds early on the run was pushed after he kicked it, got a secondary shot, made no mistake. That helped set up North Ballarat's 18-point lead at quarter time. Yes, and it's very hard for a coach not to bag the opposition at least once during the uh, <laughs> the spurs talk to the players. So just at the finish, he said, we've got to hurt them. But yeah, he went through all the little aspects of the game, uh, Jared Fitzgerald. Centre bounces, he said he wasn't happy with the clearances, though. The big bloke there did particularly well, didn't this he? This is terrific where Clark yeah. set up a goal here. Look at this, great and, running. And he said, Jared Fitzgerald, I think the word was, it was, uh, exci it was either exciting or a word to that effect when he talked about their centre work. Um, 
uh, not happy with their kick-ins, he said, but happy with their one percenters and their shepherds. And that's what's opening the path up for them. And he was he mentioned Julian Kersner's leading, I think he said starting way back, or starting back and running late. Uh, but he still gets up a fair way, Kersner. But that's beautiful play. But Box Hill fought back, Clinton. Yep. Um, uh, Wilkinson just, he's still trying to work, get the space to find, uh, get that chance to really, Giannopoulos there, they get that, uh, got got that goal and there's the stats. Yeah, not a lot in it. North Ballarat with 10 more possessions over the opening quarter. Down to Ross Booth. Ross. Well, I've gone to the uh, horse's mouth, Phil. You'll recognise Digger Roberts from 3BA, <laughs> Ballarat, and, of course, uh, the North Ballarat Roosters. Tell us about Kieran Murray. Is it the real one or is it his it's brother? It's the boy Murray, Kieran, uh, son of Michael and uh, brother of Damien from the very famous North Ballarat Club. Uh, Kieran was drafted by Essendon in 1993 uh, after being captain of the uh, the Geelong Falcons in 1992. Uh, I think he lasted uh, 12 months down there, came back to North Ballarat and hasn't played since the last game of 1996, Ross. He's had a very bad uh, groin, groin injury and uh, he's back in full flight today, mate. There you go, dig it. Look, he knows more than all of us put together, Phil. Is he an Irish Catholic, <laughs> that Murray, though, Ross? Ross, thanks, thanks for that insightful comment of what the coach had to say at quarter time. We gathered a lot from you. Thank you, North Ballarat, by 18 points. Oh, the that's digger's the, a legend, That's though. the most digger's ever said on telly, though. He usually <laughs> clams up. Boy, we fired him up today. Oh. God, the script was... He didn't miss a beat. He didn't. He didn't get a job a on a current affair oh. with that performance. That's excellent. We look forward to another interview with Ross at half time. Now, a chance for the Roosters to get the opening centre clearance, although Edmonds is travelling backwards as he gets it onto Fisher. Kick towards the outer wing, which is what we're broadcasting from, and Clark is there to take a mark. Only two players had five or more possessions from either side across the opening quarter. Bring you those shortly. Clark kicked towards half forward. Brebner was there, was dragged down, ball almost stolen away. Chance now for Peak, 55 out, kick touched off the boot, it's play on. Gathered by Dooley, has to hurry it away towards the middle. Wrestling either way, from behind was a big fly by Hancock. Polkinghorn hurries the handball away, Cuthbertson arrives in on the scene as well. Scramble, Kennedy there will have a bounce for Box Hill, Tranquilly and Haberfield, five possessions. Cuthbertson, five for North Ballarat, the leading possession getter on the ground. Jurika with seven possessions across the opening quarter. On. on the bounce, Cunningham, beautiful palm down, but Clark of the Roosters was there, kicks one towards Jurika, doesn't quite reach him though, Dooley was there, bumped off it, bounces off the well tackle, done. does very nicely, high ball, waiting underneath it, Carpets and over the top three Box Hill players, they can raffle it, Georgiatis comes up with it, off to Tranquilly, thumping kick towards centre half forward, Slater. Too far out to score. He's still in the centre square. Wilkinson, the lead to the pocket. He'll get it. Will he? No. Had good purchase initially. Chance for Rye. Paddles to the boundary line and over. Just can't get the free run. Kenny Wilkinson there, Clinton. There was another player back uh, impeding his path. They've got to try to either put a little bit higher for him to jump or give him a space. And that's in contrast to what's happening oh. at the other end where Kersner does have space. Exactly right. Slater flicks it to the back of the pack. The only man there, John Polkinghorn. Hurry kick though, and it's taken by Bredner, who is playing well early towards Holland. Has it on the edge of the centre square. Clark stands the mark. David Holland can step back. I think he's another former Ranger. Yeah, he's a pretty sharp player too. Close relationship between the Eastern Rangers TAC Cup team and Box Hill. Kick towards yes. Slater. Got it on the second grab. He'll kick from 30 metres out. You heard the umpire come in and say, good mark. And now a chance for Slater to line it up for his first of the afternoon. Well, could Slater be a late blossomer, Roscoe? He's uh, up around the 26 years of age mark, I think. And... He looks a bit more composed in his game, really, 25. Played 50 games, as you see, and really should make no mistake from here. And he's got it. Box Hill get the first goal of the second quarter. And, Ross, just a word on what Brendan Mason did have to say at quarter time. Yeah, so they're very quiet at quarter time, Box Hill. I think they're, uh, he's got a young, new side, and they're just learning to play together. And he was uh, just uh, imploring the players to uh, communicate more. They'd... Uh, uh, a couple of times players were in the clear and they, uh, you know, did the wrong thing. Um, running out of the back line, take it wide he wanted. Take it wide? Yes. Did he? Dear me. I thought mm. you'd want to get into the corridor, which is what North Ballarat have been doing when they've attacked. Edmund started uh, 
very well early in the first quarter. Georgiades. Oh, let's go wide. What the coach yeah. said. Yeah. And I don't think it's the best footy, Phil. You might have well, another thought on that. that wide. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I think uh, he feels that they can use the space in this ground and chip it around. Oh, well, I suppose they can. But the problem is that they're not able to cr not able to get Wilkinson into a clear spot. You know, by the time they get there, there are players impeding the path, as I mentioned before. But anyway, yeah, time will tell. Oh, we might be holding the ball. He fended off the tackler. A bit lucky, I reckon. Well, that's a good call, Ross, because he knew he was about to be tackled. Yeah. The rule is you must dispose. Now, he, uh, he's got yeah, to dispose yeah. of that ball now. Mm. He hasn't. He's tried to take him on. I call that Kevin Mitchell holding the ball. What's your decision, Kevin? You can ring in. Stefan Grun, the umpire in... Control at that point, Polkinghorn off to Hancock, the Bruckman, little chip to Clark, just got away from Tranquilly. Tim Clark half forward flank, but a long way from goal, 100 metres or so. Punts it up, looking for the big fellow, it's Kersner. Through the hands, at the fall is Collings. Oh, drop kick, out. And the penalty taken by Clark, he'll waste no time. He doesn't. He's going for Kersner or Jerika. There's two of them there. Ooh. They're separated. Peak. Plenty of time. Good composure. Centering uh, well kick. Well done, Edmonds. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, that peak played some dazzling, did a couple of dazzling things in the finals, he did. didn't he? And uh, he is going to improve, or he is improving. A lot to like about this side. And of course, Clinton, you. The personality of the year on the basketball, I'm told. So I'm so proud to be sitting alongside you. We'll call this a goal, I'm sure. Nick Edmonds. Oh, just gets the distance, but the accuracy is fine for Mick Edmonds. His second goal. Must be the first person to be the personality of the, the basketball personality of the year without actually playing. <laughs> God. But here you see this. This is a good piece of play. Comes off the pack. Look at the... God, players jumping everywhere. And this boy, Peak, spins out. That's almost like an old blind turn. He's got the sloppy Dax on. And he just... Dax, oh, that's it. Like, back to the 70s. Oh, uh, Warren Bill to Warren Bill from Peak to Edmonds. So the margin, three goals. Back in the centre. Hancock climbing for it there, timed it better than his opposite number. Tranquilly is tied up. Married Alison Cook, the basketballer in the off-season. Who was here earlier today. She's gone home to watch it on television. G'day, Alison. Know you're watching. From the bounce, Hancock wins it down. All scrambles out. Holding. Free kick going to go the way of the Roosters. It could be ambiguous. An off-season. <laughs> Getting married. Cuthbertson from the centre. Drops it short. Jerika. Good mark, giving some composure to the side. Fisher on the run from 55. Thank you. Yes. Sensational play, Roosters. Shane Fisher gets his first. And after Box Hill had kicked four of the previous six goals, the Roosters slam on a couple. They're back out by four straight runs. Well, they lost Garth Pick Pickford to St Kilda, wasn't it, Roscoe? Pickford, yes, uh, at the start of the season. And I thought that would hurt them. He was a good player. They've got Hancock in the ruck, so they've got a bit of height there. But these small players, don't they power through? They, they, they get the ball into the corridor, which is a really important strategy. Oh, Hancock won it again. Duck in the head. John Poggingham, the captain. Inside 50. Good, strong work by Andrew Nickel. Uh, pushed in the back from Jerika, not penalised. In goes Holland with the uh, clever skills on the ground. Nickel couldn't was, keep it in. There was a bit of Jurassic Park about that, <laughs> wasn't there, with Jerika? Jerika. Don't hold here, guys. There he is. It looks row. Saw back. Stretching it. 51 27. You can see the score into the pocket. Little push on Disney from Kersner. Nothing coming of that. Don't hold again, guys. Disney Boys watching Kersner closely. He'll need to because Kersner's kicked two already. Jerika with a left hand. Dooley was in the way. Good pick up from Brebner, showing uh, quite a bit. His oh, Trent Cooley didn't see that coming. Peak takes, uh, gets the free from a good tackle. Half forward flank. He's oh, got the lead. He's gone. Now he punts it right to the square. At the back, oh. Fisher. Oh, he gets second goal in about a minute for Fisher. 
He had support there in Cuthbertson. Could have raffled it, Roscoe. <laughs> Didn't need to in the end. 30 points the margin now to the Roosters. Yeah, it's a blowout in three minutes, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so I they always threaten to do this, though. So Boxhill fought back, got scrambled a couple there in that uh, first quarter. But they're looking good, North Ballarat. See, that was um, Inkster, wasn't it, who got his hands on the ball, fell to the ground and bang through by Fisher. So Box Hill's got to show some character now as Brewer drives them forward. That's one of the few times they've gone direct from behind. Wilkinson fists it down. Can Slater get a boot to it? Well, he sends it out wide to the boundary line. We'll have a throw in left forward pocket for the Mustangs. Staring down the barrel of the Norton three start to the season. Down by 30 points. Obviously still a long way to go, but not the best start. Slater now to contest the boundary throw in against Hancock. Gee, it fell way short. They wanted to send it back to do it again, but Polkinghorne, that's Travis, comes up with it. Hugs the boundary line with this kick, and it's taken over by Inkster. We will have a boundary throw in in front of a few patrons on the hill this afternoon, as you see... Holland marking his man. The youngsters have brought the blankets, the toys, and everything else. They're having a good day. From the throw in, both holdings, says the umpire. So no free awarded as Cunningham won it down. It was taken by Edwards to Edmonds to Edwards, waiting, stopping. I kick up towards the wing. From behind going the punch, Mackay. Forcing a little handball out was Inkster. Big roar from the crowd as Brewer applied the tackle. He's appealing for holding the ball. We'll have a throw in. Local fans getting restless. There's Digger. I can't believe he spoke so much at quarter time, boss. He knows everything, does Digger. John Foggyhorn, Philip. Edmonds on his not preferred foot. To half forward, close to the line. Nickel there first. Andrew Nickel. Serious leg injury, broken leg, in fact. And a 50 metre penalty. To Nickel now, can the Mustangs make something of this? The 50 metre zone is clear at the moment. A lot of roosters dropping back there now. And Slater in the square. Nickel goes pretty wide into that pocket, indirect. And Fisher there to spoil. Brebner. Jenkins. Dollar. Uh, Holland tried to steal it. Jenkins again tries to find Holland. Haberfield trips. Holland. And up and under, Slater will charge at it. Loose ball, Edwards, Haberfield again. Oh, he's got a high run. So at 11 and a half minutes, Box Hill with a chance for their second goal of the term. Short Haberfield, Snipson. Oh, I didn't tell you what. Would you think that was well, high? I, I, I don't even know. I don't know how. He... No, but I mean, just the shoulder or the hip or something, oh. Phil. You can't. It took can't a dive. Yeah. Well, we we'll might have another look at it, but we'll see. Different angle, Haberfield. He's got it clearly. His first. Back to four goals, the margin for North Ballarat. Now, here we go. You be the judge. I'll be the judge for you. More <laughs> importantly. Not high there or there, I wouldn't have thought. Maybe the head bounced off the other player's chest, but I think a touch lucky, Roscoe. Yeah. I don't know what Judge Judy, is that her name? That American <laughs> person with that funny voice? Yeah, that's a quality show, isn't it? Yeah, From the God, centre. They make some great shows in America, don't they? Jenkins won it forward. Georgiatis was back there to Dooley. Kick towards the wing. Brewer gathers it nicely. Ross has got a funny line. Stand by everyone. Brewer, high kick. Brebner waits. Geez, had a good game. I don't know whether it's the dreadlocks that you notice him more, but he's had a good one. He's, he's pretty got sharp. It. Seven possessions, Paul Field tells us. Stabs it towards the pocket. Oh. And Wilkinson was there almost. Ross, no, a funny line. Well, it's not funny, but Dooley, uh, Jared Dooley does work at Channel 10. Thank so you that's that. the station it's on, isn't yeah, it? I think yeah. so. That's Judge Judy, yeah. yeah. Thanks. It's where you learn all your legal <laughs> work, Philip. <laughs> oh, lovely from Hancock down to Murray. Kieran Murray. Away goes Ryan. Got some pace a half back. 
In See, into the corridor, yeah. Ross. Do you notice that? Yeah. Intelligent play. Oh, but up the back goes at a free kick away from George. It's the difference in the two teams, isn't it, at the moment, Phil? Oh, it could have been advantage, you know. Could have been advantage. Yeah, that is the difference. It is one of the key differences. Cuthbertson long, pretty wide, looking for Kersner. Got a spoil there. He's late on the scene. The free kick going. I think the Roosters' way he was put down after he hand passed away, yes. There's the tarmac over there. Up here. The terrace Jenkins tarmac. with the free. Or Inkster, perhaps. Inkster. Inkster short to Rag, who's come down from defence. Pretty good player now. He Finds a short into the pocket. A bit of pushing and shoving by Kersner. Kersner, one of there's Kersner on screen. One little problem for him is he doesn't have a lot of height, Roscoe. And so against a, pl a player, even Disney, who's not tall, just a little fraction of he's doing about pushing. There's Jared Fitzgerald. Spoke very well at quarter time. One of Bev's favourite coaches. Indeed. Slater got it down to Nickel. I kick towards half back. G breaking the pack open. Gerstman gives away the free. Didn't seem to be too much dispute about that, although the folks on the terrace certainly thought so. Chance now for the Roosters to set something up. Inside 50, Clark. Corridor again. They work to get the ball into the corridor. Very, very important. Now, Play on a big ground, sorry, Clinton, don't they, at North Ballarat? And they would realise that also. Uh, it's very important up there to get the ball into the corridor. I think he'll kick this, Clinton. He turned 20 years old a fortnight ago, did Tim Clark. No longer a teenager lining up for number two from 47 metres out. He's got it. All clear. Gee, the kicking's been neat, hasn't it? It certainly By has. The it's, been Roosters. it's been accurate in terms of the scoreboard for both teams. 10-3 to 5-3 as Clark gets his second. The margin back to 30 points. And the art of kicking over the journey has really improved. Players now from 50 metres drop punt, and there's absolute precision. I mean, there is no wind, Ross, to speak of, so it's a perfect day. But he kicks from about 48, and you look at that, Clinton, it's pretty easy, isn't it? And yep. it goes back over the fence, so he kicks it maybe 53 metres. He's not a big player, neat, not a, not a fret, not even a centimetre off line. Well, Slater couldn't make a contest. Haberfield. cuthbertson has got the fumbles. Fisher. Right. Good. Yeah, like his play. <laughs> Edwards. Ooh. Oh, don't take Jenkins, that. Jenkins, I should say. Yes. Oh, that's... I don't accept that. Well, you can't... Well, well let's he say, shouldn't do that. He hasn't though. done anything he yet. He swung the elbow back. No. He, he ran his elbow, his arm over the top of the bloke's head, admittedly. It looked silly, but he didn't actually touch him. He pushed him at the final... Tra finally, so anyway. Tranquilly. Back goes Marahi. I mean, a bloke should earn a kick. I mean, taking the football off the bloke. God, that went out with button-up boots. And you know when they went out? Hold on here, guys. I think you were watching one of your old red plays, Phil. <laughs> I might have been. <laughs> Hancock in ruck for the Roosters. Against Simpkin, who's come on. Chasing back, Kennedy. with Jenkins. A warning, I think, the player could receive, Roscoe. A warning. Let him know what the story is. You see, good shot from the boundary. And, of course, the coffee Ford. Man of the match, Roscoe. It'll be interesting. A few yes. good players in amongst it. You can vote this week. Can I? Yes, <laughs> you can. Before the end of the match, that's all we require. And uh, Roscoe, Tuesday night, you know where I'm going? Well, the Logies are over, where? Billy Bragg's on in town. You know Billy Bragg? I do. The great British minstrel. Simkin pushing forward. There's Snipson. So just a flat spot. Still a five goal margin to the Roosters. Trying to get some shots for the Sunday papers. Oh, the guys. VFL Go the footy. record. Go the ball. Box Hill, deep in attack. You can tell us which one you're right for, Ross. It's all right. Eccles, the attempted soccer off the ground. They might end up getting it. Brebner to the square. Oh, off the ground. Oh, no. 
Canberra That's have been jibbed of three goals, I reckon. At Haverfield with the soccer off the ground. Now, gee, I reckon that was close as well. Same umpire as in the first quarter. Clinton. Here we let's go to the videotape. Make up your own mind at home. Did he get this one? Uh, just came off the North Ballarat player's leg, I reckon. Uh, so I think they stay for a half of the one end, otherwise they? the same team. Oh, I see. I think so. Okay. Oh, I'll check that with Digger So we've got time. two bad goal umpires <laughs> oh, then. There's a free kick. <laughs> oh, I can't say that. Ed, uh, Hakafferson <laughs> over the top. Made it difficult for Jenkins. Good work by Pete. Quick hands. But uh, turning it over, Nickel hits to the boundary line. Strongly through is Jenkins. Uh, likewise, Georgiades. Ooh. McCartney's kick was smothered. Rebounds. Georgiades, well, didn't really get his foot to it. A lot of soccer out there. John Poggenhorn fumbling his nickel. He goes to ground and it's still in play. Clark. Perhaps the Roosters will go from this. No. It goes short and <sighs> marked by Tranquilly, but a sloppy Thank piece of play. God for that, Ross. <laughs> down the middle they go for one. Slater hands to the top. Eccles, they look better when they go down the middle. Eccles goes for home. It might bounce close. They will concede behind the Roosters. They should to be safe. They should to be safe. They're going to get a free kick. Yeah, advantage play on. Roosters out of any semblance of trouble now. This is Kennedy. Had to stop and prop. Hancock, good running. Excellent running from Jared Edwards. Had a couple of possessions on that play. Towards half forward. The man with the sit was Jenkins. Taps it out to Polkinghorne. Good vision. Or maybe just heard the voice of Cuthbertson. Sets up Clark. He's 55 out and closing. Little step pass. Kirsten was given a nudge underneath it. Now Box Hill a chance to clear it. And Jenkins with possession. The tempo picking up a little bit. 29 points the difference. Jenkins towards the wing. The fly provided by Kennedy couldn't get the mark. And the ball heading to the boundary line. Fisher happy to see it go over. In fact, Polkinghorne's not. He's going to keep it in play. Hancock dragged off it. Gerstmann knocks it away. Tranquilly towards half forward. Roosters in front. Can't quite take the mark. Still a chance. This time Brebner, tunnel ball style, flicked it back. Edwards, Clark, he's had a feast of possessions this quarter. Finds Polkinghorne. This is John. As a lead to half forward, will find an open man. Cuthbertson's got it. Now he just stabs it towards the middle. Intended perhaps here for Edmonds. He's caught behind. Brewer did well. Forced it on to Giannopoulos. Finds Holland. The ex-Rangers hooking up. Eccles. Towards full forward, Wilkinson caught behind with a couple to beat in the vicinity. Well done, Snibson. He's played pretty well and he, he gets has. the clearing kick, finds an open man. Push up, push up. The Roosters go in to the corridor again to Travis Rye. He chips wide. Advantage, that's a good call by the umpire. Big Slater there against Matthew Mackay. And he'll come and contest this throw in. Clark with eight possessions this quarter, Roscoe. Pretty good. No, Slater did that easily. Over to Brewer. Oh, Giannopoulos was the target. Finds him eventually. Eccles there in the middle. Tranquilly. Long but taking it right against Cunningham. Back on the ground. Wobbly kick. Touch that must have been the umpire calling play on. Fisher playing the ball in front. Coming the other way, Cunningham. You know, squeezing out the hand pass with Simkin. Chance for Brebner, and the umpire's found a free. And the kick was close to a goal. Umpire Grunt again involved. Yes, I think Wilkinson came off. You felt him grab his leg, but he, in that contest with Stephen, just momentarily. That's the moment to go. There's Collins with him. A groin problem, was it, Roscoe? I don't know. Do you hope he's OK? He's been plagued by leg injuries. Jerika showing some good leg skills. Long to Cuthbertson. Big kick, but he'll go for the pass into the pocket. Travis Wright, doesn't he carry some territory? Oh. Just love the way North Ballarat move from defence to attack. They can turn the tables on the opposition so quickly. Good numbers for an opening half. Within range. Ten goals already to the Roosters. Been kicking very well, the Roosters. You'd fancy this one, Ross. He's uh, not kicked a lot of goals, I wouldn't think. Oh, that's all right. Umpire cranes the neck. And through she goes. 
Yes, a lot to like, Roscoe, about this side, I reckon. Cuthbertson upfield, not having to play at the full for in the full forward spot because of Kersner being there, pretty handy. He looks fitter too, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does, and you know, I'm free think, of injury. I mean. Yep, yeah. it'll be good to see him just up the ground. He could be very dangerous, as I said, if his mobility's up to scratch. North Ballarat kicked 10 goals, 14 in round one. They've had kicking practice over the last couple of weeks. They're 11-3 at the moment. Well, that probably cost them a game against Port, you know, yeah. the six-pointer under lights. Yep, they had more shots on goal, but lost by six points. This is a mad scramble. Brebner goes in hard, will bounce it. Could have almost been a holding the ball there, Roscoe. On... That's Roscoe with an O, yeah. not an E, as I read in Inside Football in my column there, Ross. Oh, against Quinlan, you think, Phil? Yeah, he made well, no he, attempt. He made no that. attempt at all. He was just about going to bury the football. Yeah, deserved to be bumped heavily on that occasion. This is Jerika. He's shown some nice glimpses of play. Kennedy sold the dummy nicely. Delivery towards half forward oh. is pretty good. That could be 50. Kersner's gone down. Will he get a penalty? No, he won't. Yeah, a bit, no. of act, bit of acting. Bit of yes. acting. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, he's just a couple of days late for the Golden Logie. Lisa McCune would have liked it. Did she win another one? She won another one. I think that's three in a row now. I should have stayed at home. It was a great night for the ABC. Kersner, from a long way out, makes no mistake. He's kicked his third. We've got someone, I think, going off through the blood rule, but Kersner's got three goals. And North Ballarat are streaking away. 41 points now. Well, they're sharp, Clinton, and they put the ball. That's just off the corridor line, but they tend to keep the ball in the corridor, and you saw Tranquilly there just collecting his man. Could have almost been 50, which probably means that... It could have almost been, and it wasn't. <laughs> well, you know when you say it, it could have almost been, I mean, it's really saying nothing, it's isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a silly, silly thing to say. Part of it's redundant. Too, and we can't it. have Phil saying nothing, Ross, <laughs> can right, no. oh, boy. He's always got to be saying something. <laughs> Even if he's saying nothing. nothing. <laughs> Lay off me, I'll get a complex. <laughs> Don't walk out wrong. <laughs> Jerega in the ruck, but... Yeah. Mackay couldn't force it away. There's Matthew Mackay. Couldn't crush through the pack as they've done several times in this game to get quick goals out of the square. Slater stands next to Jerega who won the tap beautifully. John Polkinghorne, can he wrench clear? Now the tackling strong. Great vision here, great photos where pictures we're seeing in there, nice and close. They're on the other side of the ground we use often telecast from that side that you can see but today we're Brewer uh, got the quick kick turned back the other way by John Polkinghorne push on Jenkins by Holland doesn't like it but it was there I think <laughs> take that mouth gut out so I can actually hear what you're saying to me or lip read in the meantime the ball's been kicked into the pocket and a mark to Quinlan. Well, Quinlan, we saw him a couple of probably two or three years ago at North Ballarat. Yeah. I almost their first game, and I said he was going to be a star player. Did I say that? You did. Yeah, uh, was I was his, wrong. <laughs> well, might have been his brother. <laughs> <laughs> Quinlan. <laughs> always, I think, no, Curse is clapping. Is he trying to fill the gun pile? Goal on pile? He was. But that just shows they got a bit of reserve and uh, they won in the seconds, didn't they, today? Yeah. Comfortably. Yes. Can Box Hill try and get something back prior to half-time, which is only a couple of minutes away? They have no one there. Snipson, fair way down the ground on this occasion. Gave Giannopoulos a little nudge. Giannopoulos with possession now. Centering ball. tranquilly has got it. Cop one over the ear for his trouble. Wants to go quickly while he's got an open forward line. Spies Eccles. He should mark. He's too far out to score, though, at 55. Got men streaming forward. Brewers in space. Eccles loads up. Drives it long from 55. Misses to the right. And it's off hands for a boundary throw in. That is Luke Jenkins. Kicked a goal in the opening quarter. Snibson. Number 32 for North Ballarat has been good down back. 
Fans watching on here at Box Hill City Oval. Overcast, chilly about 16 or 17 degrees as Jerika runs away on half time. An excellent second quarter from the North Ballarat side who have made the trek down for this one. In that second quarter, they kick six goals one to two goals one and at half time lead by a staggering seven goals. Phil, they are comfortably on top in the match of the round for round three of the VFL. Well, I think, Clinton, that we all seem to agree that this is a pretty good side, North yeah. Ballarat. Uh, very important for the VFL that North Ballarat does well, a bit like with Sydney in the AFL, where they really want to see Sydney conquer the territory. And North Ballarat is very big for it, big for the competition. Well, as we go statewide and uh, bring in the country teams, we lost Terrelgan, of course, and there they are going off the ground. Jared Fitzgerald has got plenty to work with, Roscoe. He was, they were a bit lean last year. In the finals, they were great at ground level, lacked a little bit of height. They've lost Pickford, but they picked up Hancock and Jerika and Kersner in the forward line, giving them something, and they're sharp in the midfield, and they get in the corridor and look at the scores. Beautiful kicking. They are very neat with the football. They're going to trouble all the top sides, and they might be in that top cup. They certainly will join Kuzner with three goals to half time. Clark Fisher Edmonds all with two singles down the page for Box Hill. Half time in the match of the round. The Roosters are crowing at the moment. 12 4 76 against the Mustangs. 5 4 34. Bev 42 points. Our margin at half time. And uh, boys, back to you. I think everyone's on the ground and ready to, to get the whistle for the third quarter. Well, the North Ballarat team, Bev, and thanks very much to you. And also, Robin, best of luck yes. tonight. Obviously, it'll be a terrific game. The North Ballarat boys are out. They're primed and ready, Phil, and why not leading by 42 points? And I wonder what interview our man on the boundary line has. Ross Booth. What, who do you have with us? Oh, we've got all the uh, Sunday Papers crew. Howard Lee from the uh, Sunday Herald Sun. And... Uh, Wayne Hawkins uh, from the Sunday Age of Photography. And Wayne, uh, Phil and Clinton is the brother of uh, Jumping Jack Hawkins and Mick Hawkins from Finlay. And Howard Lee, look, he knows, <laughs> he can name any country football, any football he knows where they're from. Adam Slater. Adam Slater, Richmond. I don't know where he comes from the country, though, Ross. You'd have to fill me in there. <laughs> Phil Cleary. Phil Cleary, I think he was a Coburg junior, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. Phil Cleary um, anyway, I listened to Brendan Mason. Uh, they're trying to retrieve mm. the situation over the Box Hill uh, Mustangs. Wasn't a happy side, happy team in there. Bad news, though. Darren Wilkinson, a groin. I don't think he'll be back. That's a reoccurrence of that injury. And uh, that's uh, sad news to them. There's uh, another injury to, to uh, Brett Rowe, the back. I don't think he'll be back either. Thanks for that, Ross. You might want to ask Howard who dresses him. No, is he? Does he have a personal tailor? As it's we start... always great to see Howard. He just to... what are you? He was so good at the uh, boxing. Oh, he was. Our man at the boxing. Mackay deep to full forward. This could be an early goal. Watch the bounce. The Mustangs concede a behind. First score of quarter number three here at Box Hill City Oval. Leading possession winners to half time for the leaders, North Ballarat. Cuthbertson with 12 possessions. Clark had 11. Jerika likewise 11. John Polkinghorne 11 and Rige had 10. So plenty of players winning the ball. While for Box Hill, Tranquilly with 11. The only player with more than 10 possessions. This is Brewer. Kick towards the wing. Stack of players there. Knocked out by Gerstman. Chain of hand pass. No. Sakura went without it. I fancy on for the first time. Back to Gerstman. Kick towards full forward. On! Bit of a wrestle. Oh, going without it was Jenkins. Had half a chance initially. Snipson's been great down back for the Roosters. Still fighting hard. Sakura diving in there, working hard. And we will have a bounce. So I see Nickel has gone to the forward line. Obviously, Brendan Mason trying to get something happening down there. A uh, bit of a problem for them with Wilkinson and a groin. That isn't good. See the bench there. And there's Darren Wilkinson on the far side. Here's perhaps a chance for Giannopoulos. No, Roosters punch it away. Boundary line looming and wins out. 77 plays 34. North Ballarat searching for their first win of the season. They lost to Port Melbourne in round one by six points. Had the bye last week. Box Hill staring down the barrel of a third straight heavy defeat to start the season. This is Gerstman did well to Sakura. Hurries a kick forward. Wait on it. Wait oh, on it. That's Coming a good back. Kick. Coming back. He's just on the ground. Show some excitement. He's got a goal. Shane Sakura. And so Box Hill get the important first goal to start the second half. 
Well, you know, they haven't been that far out of the game, really. It's just that North Ballarat have been a bit classier and a bit more direct. But if they can snare a couple like that, they get themselves back in the frame. Big ask without Wilkinson, but we'll see. Slater wins it down. Brebner there. Box Hill held without it. They'll get the free kick. Perhaps a chance to try and set something up. Tranquilly. Long towards full forward. From behind with the punch. Nickel goes to ground. Brebner alongside of Eccles. The pack develops. We will have a bounce. Empire Stefan Grun. Kick well smothered by Jenkins. Shoveling it forward, Georgiadis for a boundary throw in. Right forward pocket. Mustangs at least attacking as we welcome back Ross Booth. That is sad news about Darren Wilkinson, isn't it? Because he's looked good the first couple of weeks and today. Uh, but it's the, uh, the nag injury he's had over the last few years. Gersman, screwing up round, didn't travel 10, goes for it himself. Chance. Out the Brewer, finishing on the left foot, is all right, is it? Oh, it's going to be touch and go, but it's no. wide. Got a bit of class, Brewer, hasn't he, Roscoe? He's uh, 23 years of age, he's a neat player. Good yes. skills. Footscray Supplis last year, Phil. And I think son of Ross Brewer, Melbourne oh, Collingwood. Don't start, Ross, please. We've only just established the other one. 36 points. At least they're attacking now, and Slater's got it in midfield. Oh, and he's invited to play on. Well, they might get away with it. Dooley on the run. He decides to go very wide. He was 55 out. Could have had a shot. Finds Nickel on the boundary line. Yes, Ross, be careful. Paternity suits we don't want. You can see the scoreboard. North Ballarat 77, Box Hill 41. The ball with Andrew Nicholl. A 24-year-old. An important kick. And a free kick to Box Hill directly in front. It's a goal coming up. Well, how about that? Umpire Wes Mann there, who is a general manager, Roscoe, and he's umpiring on that occasion like a general manager. He's ruling the roost down there. Paid a free kick. Luke Jenkins to kick his second. And Box Hill not out of this one. The margin is 30 points. And a blood rule as well. So whistles all over the place. It's like peak hour. In the car park where you got lost before coming to the ground. <laughs> yes. Tell you what, he, he I was... can't believe I was caught in a traffic jam. All those Saturday morning shoppers, fair <laughs> they can't drive. Yeah. Yeah. We know. And 30 points in it. What do you reckon, Ross? Are they a chance? Gee. Uh, it's hard to see, really, unless... Uh, the Roosters went to sleep. 30 points, big margin without Wilkinson. But uh, I think they're pretty determined uh, to redress that poor first half. And a rooster asleep's not much good to anyone, as we know. 47 They're going to be loud and raucous. Raucous. Up goes Hancock. He's beaten tranquilly, taking it with him. Wouldn't another one be helpful? Wide from Brebner. Again. Didn't have much option, much option. Slips through the hands of Georgiadis. Plenty of time. Or Brebner, one metre hand pass. Tried to do it round the back. Tackled, got it out. They're making hard work of it, the Box Hill half forward line. And they're about 100 metres from goal on the half forward flag in front of their box. You can see there's Cunningham, the Ruckman. Wilkinson, the top left. Don't hold. Don't hold each other. The best forwards in the comp. Slater coming to the floor in this half. Used his body well to get it to Haberfield. Gets it back. Sakura to Holland. Kick is touched. No mark will be awarded. Rooster's defence just under a bit of pressure. Mackay to Polkinghorne was good. Gets it off, I think, to Inkster. Hurries one towards half forward. It's a bouncing ball. It's a foot race. It's running away from the Box Hill players. But Collings doubles back. Gathers it now. Kick goes out very wide. Polkinghorne arrives on the scene. Advantage. Advantage free kick to Box Hill. They say play on. It is wide below the grandstand. Jenkins had it. Boundary throw in. 
momentum was forward. You heard from the umpire. That's why it wasn't in the bag. Arms up. Margin 30 points. Next goal could be critical Stay either way. Jerika working there against Slater. This is Polkinghorne. Heads for the boundary line. Finds it. We'll have a throw in. It wasn't all that well disguised from John Polkinghorne. And again at the ball. The umpire said it didn't matter. And it's ball. Slater from behind. Sakura carries it out. Box Hill trying to shovel it forward. That's a good mark from Gerstmann. Held up by Snibson. He's made a few big leaps, hasn't he? Clear. Yep. Got hands on the ball, but that time he's grabbed it. Sends it in towards the pocket. Oh, here's oh. half a chance. Haverfield well dragged off it. Taking it was Kennedy. Clears it beyond the defensive 50. Gersman's back there. Got it again. Russia blood. Bit of confidence now. Thumps it long. Up. Oh. Big pack. Brebner at the fall. Good hard work there. Chance Giannopoulos. Kick one. Got the it, Ross. Fans Ross. like it from behind in the social club. Oh. He likes it too. And that's three goals in the term to the Mustangs. 24 points, the margin. Well, look, they've got a fair bit of class, the Mustangs. I just think the way they went about the game was the problem. They wasted a lot of energy going wide, and Peter Waitman in the background has not moved there, Roscoe. He stood there for an hour and a bit. That goal there by Giannopoulos, absolutely critical off the, the angle. The ones you must, you must get when things are tight. But shaping up, very interesting this game. Four goals in it now. It is now. The former Eastern Ranger doing well again with that tap. Here's a go for Sakura. He's provided them with a little bit of spark in the last nine minutes. He's working hard here. He's got to get rid of it now. Does so. It was overrun though by his teammate there in Simkin. North Ballarat a chance perhaps. Having to work hard but eventually being dragged down was McCartney towards the boundary line. Polkinghorn treads a fine line but did well Ooh. in the end we're going to have a boundary throw and it was a socket over by tranquilly threw the ball to himself yeah well it sort of bounced off his hand well yeah kind of don't know what, what i think of that roscoe it's careful we don't want you to say nothing Phil. <laughs> throw in between wing and half forward for North Ballarat, one down by Jerika to Polkinghorn. Hurry, kick towards half forward, bounced over the head. Doubling back, Cuthbertson. Clark's got oh. it. He's good. Standing start from 49 out high. Kersner underneath it, too far underneath it. Good defensive work by Jason Disney. Yes, Forcing he's under the pump there, Disney, wasn't he, Clinton? He was. The only man back. Working hard. Uh, who's that on the bench? It's Edwards or Polkinghorn, perhaps? Edwards? Yep. We'll have a boundary throw in. Deep in attack. Now oh, the Roosters, that's a good kick. That's an excellent kick. Giannopoulos, again, doing it at both ends. Boundary throw in. Got you covered over here. Yes. Cut in the eye for Jared Edwards. And Slater to contest the ruck again against Quinlan, who tries to nudge Slater out of the way. Giannopoulos again works around the boundary line. 11 minutes, third quarter, and box uh, the Brewster's North Ballarat yet to get a goal in this term. Had nearly 11 minutes, but they're in attack. Quinlan, not the height against Slater. Tranquilly, love, lovely tap, not such a good kick. Goes to Brebner, spotted a man loose. Oh, turned it over. Volleyed by Jenkins. No Wilkinson there, of course, and kicked away by the Roosters. Out to Jenkins again, who's run strongly. Chance for his third. Right into the square. Loose ball, nothing can be made of it. Ooh. Gee, that was an opportunity, but the kick wasn't quite right, was it? It needed a bit of air to give the Box Hill boys, the forwards, a chance there. North Ballarat were really under a bit of, under a bit of pressure at six and sevens. Gee, they still are. Box Hill have shown something yeah. here. Three goals, two to one behind in just on 12 minutes. Snibson to bring it back into play. Thumps it long into the centre square. She hit the back. Slater couldn't take it. Tranquilly does. Jerika ties him up. Former AFL players going at it. Richmond and Collingwood, who are meeting today with the Tigers on top at half time. Collingwood staring down the barrel with a fourth straight defeat. 
From the bounce, Jerika used his body well, shoveled it to Clark. High ball towards half forward. They have to wait. Holland showed courage but couldn't come up with it. Edmonds on the run from He's Fiske. good, isn't he? He's very good, the veteran. He's got his third. One in each quarter. That's the steadying goal North Ballarat needed. Well, Clinton, I think we all sensed, didn't we, once that ball slipped through the pack into his hands and he had that little bit of space, it was going to be a goal, wasn't it? Look how he reads it. Beautiful camera work there from behind the goals. You see the spill. He's a left footer, as you can see. He was slightly on the right, but he just took that extra step. Steady. Bang. Good play. Great contribution. Three goals. Slater uncontested, as you could see. Travis Bolkinghorn to Cuthbertson was good in close. High ball. Spalling at the back, McCartney running on it beautifully. The boxer might have been Dooley. Out to Rig. Bouncing ball. Oh, he's got the pace. Didn't keep it in the boundary umpire right there. No argument from Travis after the initial disappointment. <laughs> Slater again. Jerika, but. Slater with the taller, the stretch, Dooley's kick smothered by Jenkins. McDonald's on for the Roosters, Phil McDonald, and that's out on the full. Brother of? Yes. Two. <laughs> Cryptic questions. <laughs> um, no comment, Phil. Towards the wing, Slater. With the added responsibility, he stepped up to the task. Tranquilly. Oh, that oh. looked ugly. It did. And yeah, Fisher's got it. Fisher goes short. Polkinghorn is there. Giannopoulos having a good quarter. Has it. Hand off. Brebner. Going via the cape. He sends it out wide. Collings is there and he's got it. Are they mounting another charge? He goes short. Brewers covered plenty of territory this quarter. Decides Hitch. to drop it off short. Well done. Good setup. Ends up with Nickel. The distance and the accuracy from here, though, will be a challenge on 50. Five metres in from the boundary line, right half forward. Beneath the terrace, a few patrons above him watching on. Important kick this. Nickel from 45. That's not bad. We'll wait. It's not bad. It's very, very good. It's a goal. Don't count them out yet. They're back within 23 points. Good kick from Andrew Nichol, and it rewards the players downfield, Phil, who set it up, this passage of play here. Yeah, well, they, they tried to get the ball into the corridor. They, in fact, went across, got slightly out, but still, they brought it back in there finally through Brewer, who's been good, you know, at times, yeah. and he's, been, he's smart with the ball. And, of course, Nichol, they're able to run into that pass. Brewer starting on the wing, the ball coming out in his direction, and McDonald. Brewer lays the tackle. Oh, it's a throw. Wins the free. Haberfield looking for the one two. Is oh, Tranquilly no. Goes in short to Slater, that's better. You know who's marking Slater, the kicker, high one, going pretty wide. Up goes Jenkins, loves to fly. Great shot in the paper hey, of him. Giannopoulos. Hooking it into the square, and Murray missed with the punch. Squeezing it out. Murray, another chance. Ooh. Could be worth three points in future. Oh, got... Kieran Murray he retreating there through the goals. 16-minute mark, as you see there, third quarter. They want rushed behinds conceded by a team deliberately to be worth three points down the track. Snipson, that's an ordinary wobbling kick. Gersman showing some like this quarter. Gets it back to Collings, the fans finding voice. This is Jenkins, has room to run. One bounce from the boundary line, yeah. centers it beautifully done. It went straight through Eccles though. At the back, the defense still under the pump. Snipson, handball back towards the pocket. Oh dear, boundary throw in. Just under a little bit of pressure no on right now. Sorry, Wes. Plenty of folks there watching on, enjoying I'm the action. Up. Howard Lee's colours on. He's setting Gee. the latest in fashion trends. From the throw in, Eccles perhaps a chance. Ball didn't sit for him. We'll have a bounce. Oof. 
Boxhill players calling for a holding the ball. A goal here well, would right, really yeah. crack this game open. Nickel is number 14 on screen there. He'll contest this one. Bounce doesn't really favour him. Jerika knocked it down. There's still half a chance. Box oh. Hill tranquilly sends it out wide. Risky, oh. but Sakura's got it. And he'll kick from about 48 to 49 metres out. Shane Sakura. He's a bit hot. He's already pinged one in this quarter. Came on, I believe, at half time. We certainly didn't see him in the opening half. He's had seven possessions this term. Very mark. hot. This is number eight oh, for his second goal. To make it 16 points in it, he misses badly. Just Terrible. And you need one. He's disappointed, as you would expect. Yeah, he didn't approach it particularly well. It wasn't a smooth run in, I didn't think. Marahi, in front of Sakura, setting things down. He's looking in board. You can see the eyes darting into the corridor. And I thought it was. It is the Shane Sakura oh, yeah. from the West Coast. West Coast, Coast Eagles, I, yeah. I didn't think you'd, thought you'd mentioned it. Here's Snipson, Edmonds. Pretty good recruit on the bench, isn't it? Fisher, yeah. may have been injured pre season. Snipson again. And a chance here for Mackay. Oh, he couldn't get his foot to it. It ran away from him. I remember calling him back in Perth in the West Star Rules competition uh, back in 97. Always permanently injured Shane Sakura, just about uh, hamstring, groin strains, and during the 97 season, didn't really get much of a go with the Eagles. Only 22 years yeah, of age, so. though. Got plenty of football ahead of him. Oh, Slater was beautiful, I think, to uh, Simkin. Doing pretty well, Slater, actually, I fancy, Roscoe. Jenkins having a lot of the ball to Collings. He's chased down by Jenkins of Ballarat, North Ballarat. Ian Hard Kennedy coming the other way. Jenkins, that was a good free flowing almost clash. Kennedy and Murray, they're all there. Keep it up. Keep it up, the runner out instructions to Eccles. Jenkins waits for the throw in. Jerika, seven coming in to contest it against Slater. Should be a, more of a contest this time. Oh, Jerika in front uh, did well. High ball from Polkinghorn. Mackay flow, uh, flies. Simkin. Quick work, Cuthbertson. Simkin again. McCartney. Quick kick. Did he look? Who's there for the Mustangs? Nickel. No, it's uh, Gerson. He's got one in the eye. Rig. Wide. Now the pace can tell. No, the cruel pounds had favoured Brewer beautifully. Back to Dooley. Three on two. And now... Georgiatis. Go. She could go. Too worried about the oh, sore hip. Oh. Should have gone, I agree, Phil. And Clinton. Georgiatis puts it high. Slater's yes. there. Jeriga should spoil. He does. Who's at the fall? It's Holland. Oh, he took his eye off it. Another chance for him. Bit slow to get rid of it. Didn't travel 10, perhaps. Well, Good work, Sakura. Oh, yes. Eccles, the goal kicker, but misses. Oh, oh. dear. Oh, hard in the mouth stuff here, Box Hill. Opportunities you could see they know, Clinton, don't they? Oh. They are really right back in the game. They've kicked Just four five this for that quarter. Yeah. Wanting that extra one. Look at that. 18 shots apiece now. Yeah, and uh, the former Preston full forward, you thought he might have put it away. Yeah, so they've kicked four or five, but they kicked seven two this term. They'll be back just about on level terms as Tranquilly's been good, couldn't take it there. Soccer off the ground. Roosters, though, still under the pump. They've worked it out to the wing, though. This is good work. Oh, a good tackle. Fisher dragged down. Collins, the tackler. Bad decision in a tight game, Clinton. That is holding the ball. There is no way out of that decision. No way out. Took the player on, got caught, Roscoe. Gersman with a poke in the eye on the bench. From the bounce, Slater, Brebner, hurries it out. Getting back there, Mackay, good handball. Finds Jenkins, Edmonds, they can set something up. Almost a rainmaker kick there on a day like this. From behind the fly, the punch down, Tranquilly can get there first. Almost got a free, once, twice, no, peak on top, we'll have a bounce. 50 out from the Roosters goal, about seven minutes remaining. Third term, 20 points the margin in the match of the round. The game's coming up this weekend. If you're interested, the big one, Williamstown against Werribee at Witten Oval. Preston Knights at home to Port Melbourne. Frankston at home to Bendigo and Springvale welcoming Sandringham into town. Matches coming up tomorrow. Peak working hard there, shoveling players out of the way. 
That is stacks on the mill there, Clinton. That is stacks on the mill. Who are KB playing for? Bye. Oh. Could get up. Had the big reunion last night, the 79 and the 89 Premiership sides. Yes. Uh, what time did you wake up this morning, well, this afternoon, Phil? Uh, <laughs> a few shards. <laughs> Here's Holland. Oh, got caught high. No free kick, surprisingly, there. Kersner caught behind on that occasion. He's been shut out of this second oh. half by Disney. Tranquilly. They're twisting, turning, going backwards. Polly Farmer like handball over the top for McCartney was good. <laughs> that wasn't. That's twice out in the full, I think. This turn for McCartney. And that's Georgiatis. Having the shoulder stretched. Hope it stays in. Let him run, watching. 23 minutes, third term. Cuthbertson, but Simpkins spoils. Brebner. He's doing well. Well done. Get in the corridor. He's there. Going in there. And now he switches oh, it he almost at right angles. He's gone backwards. And the ball might go over the line. Haberfield. It does oh. well. I do not understand. It's not just that he actually put it there, but he was actually thinking about going wide all the while, mm. not thinking about going inboard. I mean, I don't understand that, Ross. Yeah, it was, he ran into the corridor. It was beautiful. Anyway, here's Mackay for the Roosters. Could make them pay, but he's uh, slung as he kicked. But, Ross, as he got into the corridor, he was already looking as if he wanted to get out instead of pushing mm. on. And I really, it, it's so obvious they've got sharp players, but why waste that energy going all over the cape? McCartney. Right out. Right on now. <laughs> Setting it out wide. Oh, oh, that's that's a a they don't want to be in the corridor, do they? Hugs the boundary line, but it's a good enough kick. Finds his teammate in Kyle Simkin. He delivers it up to the wing. Oh, they've put themselves under pressure, though, at times. The Mustangs. Oh, soccer off the ground. Sakura does well. Ducked out of the tackle nicely. He will go down the middle. Drives it deep to full forward. And it bounces past Nickel towards the line and over for a throw in. At least Sakura going down the middle. Been played under Mickey Malthouse. Would have received a tongue lashing had he gone out wide oh. under Mickey. He was very generous after the game at Collingwood to Mickey Malthouse in the press conference, saying how great it was to be at a suburban ground and spectators involved. That is holding the ball! Umpire! Well, they're going to get oh, off the hook. That is disgraceful. McDonald to Clark. They're out of trouble oh. somehow. It looked like it was going to be a Box Hill goal. Gee, Collings couldn't quite juggle the mark. Cuthbert's in there, free kick to Box Hill. But that cost you a game of football, that decision. That is terrible. Giannopoulos misses the target with the handball. Tranquilly, soccer off the ground. It might still come off, although that handball misses the target as well. Intended for McCartney. Works hard against Peak. did very well. Eccles in there, applying a couple of tackles and gets the footy. Eccles kicks it forward. This should be a goal. Haberfield was just about off. Gee, they deserve it. They do, and they're back in it. They're oh. right in it on the stroke of three-quarter time if Haberfield can kick this. Well, Sean Haberfield playing he just his 14th game. Shown a bit of class at times too, this fellow. Key goal, this one. Russ, this will really get you vibrating. He kicks it out to the right, but as he squeezed Ooh. it through, hasn't carried or has it? Gee, the goal umpires have been against Box Hill today behind. Well, I haven't yeah. heard anyone as excited about a decision since well, uh, Hugh Worth on 3LR about three years ago, <sighs> calling out Rover, telling someone how to <laughs> discipline their dog. We have to turn the uh, sound down here in the uh, van. One, one of my cultural heroes too, uh, <laughs> Dr Worth. Indeed. As you can imagine. <laughs> Uh, Up goes Cunningham with a spoil. Turn to Tranquilly. <laughs> McKay, one ABC, Phil. I am Away the kidding. Travis Rowe. <laughs> through centre wing. Goes to half forward. Kersner's in front. Disney with him. Kersner just trying to finesse. It slips. Oh, oh. lets it away. Cuthbertson can kick a goal. Steady from 45 metres. Oh, heartbreak. There is no justice oh. in the world or in the game of football. That is and heartbreak. does. First goal to Darren Cuthbertson. Oh. Gee whiz. You just don't think you're going to win a game when you dominate possession. The other team gets oh. it forward for 20 seconds and scores. Yes, well, it just split the wrong way for the Mustangs, as you see here. They're nearly in at Disney. He nearly takes it with him. Look, and he's, he's all over the shop, isn't he, Clinton? Try, but he just can't get there. And Cuthbertson turns. There's one player back for the Mustangs. 
but it just carries. Terrific poise there from Cuthbertson. North Ballarat back in the ascendancy now. <laughs> I think that was a high tackle. The young 25 was points. Right. Yep, 25 points. Cuthbertson again. So it looks as though they're okay. Three quarter time, another short term, 27 12, the duration. What a goal, effectively. They got the goal about 10 seconds, 15 seconds before the siren sounded. And in the end, it could be the goal that we look back on as the straw that broke the camel or the Mustangs back. 14-5, 89 to 19, 64. Our score at three-quarter time. The margin, 25 points. But, Phil, before we hand back to Bev to check those other scores, Box Hill, you still fancy they're not out of the game. They dominated possession that quarter. But as you see, they kicked four goals, six. They kicked 6-4 or 7-3 or 8-2. They could be equal or in front. And not an ounce of luck. And yep. everyone knows in a game of footy, you do need just a fraction. And if you get the fraction, you can win. Look at Melbourne last night at the MCG. But that free kick, which is a, a, effectively a 12 point yes, turnaround yes. that is so critical it was a clear holding the bully had prior opportunity there could be no other decision and that if i was coaching i would be going mental about it but we're still got a game on our hands they've had a real go they're neat with the ball their forward line's a little bit better box hill north ballarat are gonna have to fight hard we're in they're in with a chance the mustangs it'll be an interesting last quarter beverly believe me you won't be going for a gin and tonic i can tell you <laughs> and bev no lines about going mental please <laughs> <laughs> it was going a begging. I'm sorry, Clinton, but I can't imagine what he'd look like going mental. I have no in mental pictures myself. <laughs> Time to go back for the final quarter, which is really hotting up. And, guys, I was thinking with the colours of Box Hill and the proximity, Hawthorne would be a natural affiliate for them. Well, that's right, Bev, under the new the, the new arrangement, of course, uh, with clubs aligning themselves, that, that's uh, a possibility. So all that will unfold next year. Here's Brendan Mason, the coach at Box Hill. Now we've got to come over the top. Long go. Georgie, James, James William, hey? Run piece of water, mate. Fantastic. Yeah, good. Just lead, keep this going. You're hard at the 40, a real good lift. And George is moving around the mobile uh, foil and going to extra space. But the half balls, medium small, ball equals, Haber, Geo, you've got to stay down. Roll play for your roll play. Turn that will do it. Coming front, center, and get that first option off. Lukey Jenkins. Absolutely. Fantastic work. Here we go. We all of a sudden broke up, went to space, and I switched to play, run and carry. And we keep that work as we go. Keep giving our hands first use from the footy, well then we're going to open up. 14, so we went one on one, so we still stay one on one. We still stay one on one because that's what they don't like. They don't like one on one. They don't like the one on one because they don't allow the players to drop out the back door, the ball up from the right, right, and half court. Right. Right. Because all of a sudden, because we've uh, anticipated right, they get first use and they go out the back door. Yeah. <laughs> we're there, we're covering that space and we're there making a the contest. So we're hard at the contest and we get the handball out and go to the on to James. Georgie, Nico, through the corridor, stay out of the here, we're really quick running off. We've got the momentum, we've got the momentum, we've got the momentum. Do it, come it's coming right, you've got a job to do, and you shut down, you do your job, and you keep running off, and you've got a job to do, and Slates, you give us leadership, AT, you give us leadership, Bongo, you give us leadership there. And everybody stands up tall, job to do, accountability, push down hard. So Brendan Mason, the coach of a very young Box Hill team there, more than half of the players feel are age 21 or less as the highlights come on. Well, I like Brendan Mason's style there. It's interesting in the huddle. You know, coaches have different styles. He's a bit quirky kind of, but, but I like the way he sort of pushes his players on. You know, Clinton, he's been very clear about what they have to do, but he's actually lifting them as well. You notice that he's, he's got them sort of uplifted while identifying the particularities of the game and so uh, I can see why he's done well as a coach uh, there we see it and this is what he was talking about this revival he, he, he is accusing North Ballarat of not being good in the one-on-one so that's interesting I wonder what Gerald Fitzgerald would make of that and I suppose he's right but Edmonds that hurt didn't yes, it? Yes it certainly did they only kicked two goals for the quarter that was Ooh. one of them which was oh so costly and the the other one of course that holding the ball and we see uh Bredner, they're going across the ground they 
they still crisscrossed, but I did notice Brendan Mason said at uh, three-quarter time, get the ball into the corridor. He didn't. He just sort of said it in passing as if they'd been doing it, so I don't know what, what he makes of it. Andrew Nickel there, been pretty handy when you consider Wilkinson off the ground, and yet they rearranged their forward line, and they did all right. Not much in it there. Staggering number of possessions in the third term. Box Hill, 79. North Ballarat, 35. They've had more than twice as Ooh. much of the ball, yet on the scoreboard they kicked 4-6 to two goals one. There are the numbers. Box Hill now with more possessions than North Ballarat. The free kick's just about even. Slater did well in the rucks. That term, Ross Booth, down to you. Oh, Gerald, uh, Jared Fitzgerald, I should say, is uh, very unhappy, obviously. They just uh, went to sleep, uh, stood back and let uh, their teammates do the job, which they didn't do in uh, as a community, Phil. So he's very unhappy. Uh, Hancock, get angry in the ruck, then get aggressive for the first six or seven minutes. Travis Rigg, uh, too lazy, sitting too far off your man. Um, so I think we'll see an improvement for the Roosters. Uh, Jared Fitzgerald thinking they just went to sleep in that term. Did he rev them up, Roscoe? Yes, he had fire in his eyes. Not the friendly farmer or ex-teacher that you and I know. He was really <laughs> a mean coach, just like yourself. They're the coaches I like, Roscoe. And still no breeze, Ross? No, nothing. Great. Thanks, Ross. Clark with the opening possession. Shovels it forward for the Roosters. The first goal, either way, critical. The Roosters will seal it if they get it. This could be it. Edmonds on the run, drives it long, and getting back there. Collings, well done. Gee, that was a saviour right there. Because if the Roosters had have got the first, it would have just about been shut the gate. They still might. Box Hill, Collings goes wide, wide, wide. Brewer's got it. Just below the terrace, near the Box Hill coach's bench. He brings it up, squares it up, tranquilly on half back. And ball over the top. Back to Brewer. He has some run in his legs. He sends it wide. McCartney's got Split, it. Yes. Now he can go down the middle. He loads it up, drives it inside 50, over the head of the intended target, which was Georgiatis. And Shane Snibson's been pretty good down back for the Roosters. Towards the grandstand side of the ground. Well weighted kick. Hancock perhaps took his eye off it. Tackled by Eccles. Got the hand pass away to Kennedy. Arriving late, Sakura. Kennedy's kick bounces towards the line. Taken over by Mackay will have a boundary throwing. Gee, what a great opportunity wasted, Clinton. That split on the wing opened up an opportunity and a bad kick. Throw in Slater. And it down towards Tranquilly. Mackay is there, barreled off it by Sakura. Roosters managed to work it forward, though. And now Peak, 1 of 50, not going to get it. Brewer stands the mark. Too far out to score is Matthew Peak. Going to drive it deep towards the full forward zone. The hot spot. All knocked away by Collings. This is Jerika from the boundary line. Kicks it out on the full. Number 10. Number 10. Kick to be taken by Brebner. Just coming over the line on your mark. Then you can go anywhere. Across the line over your mark. Then you can go. Yeah, okay. He's here, okay? Umpire explaining the new rule. You can go anywhere. You can go anywhere once you get inside that boundary line. Mark Brebner decides to stab it short. It's OK. Simkin shorts it. Jenkins, he's hot. Gets away from Clark. Oh, they're mucking around with it now. Disney over the top. Now they're out of trouble. Kick up towards the wing. Watch the bounce. It stops. Box Hill have got three on two here. They don't use it. They decide to shovel the handball forward towards half forward. Getting back there, Fisher. He's kicked a couple of goals today. The disposal there is perfect. Finds right. Point of the square half back. We've played just on three minutes. No change to our three-quarter time score. The Roosters by 25 points. Slater could have marked that. Decided to knock it on towards Collings. He's covered some yardage in this term. Kick towards half forward. Oh. Now Box Hill have got two Chance. on one. This is a goal. Giannopoulos won't miss. Ooh. Ooh, a floater, but it's through. He's got three. Box Hill get the all-important first goal of the final quarter. A little bit of sigh of relief from Paul Giannopoulos. He thought, oh, I didn't get good connection with that, but I got it anyway. And it's back to 19 points. This is a ball game. Yeah, well, Clinton, uh, when you consider they let slip two goals in that third quarter, when they were really on a roll, missed that opportunity up the other end with the, the holding the ball. But you see Giannopoulos there, he seems to be ready, but he floats it and they get the goal. Is that the touch of luck they need? Ooh, could be. 19 points, you can see. The clock, early days. Out of the middle by Polkinghorne for the Roosters. McCartney lets it bounce. Well with done. him, Jenkins. 
Good work from Simkin to Jenkins of Box Hill. Through the hands of Cora. Safely at the back is Snipson. Oh. Pogginghorn, nowhere oh. to go. Caught, got the hand pass. What's it a throw? Says oh. Travis Pogginghorn. Away, just got away from Giannopoulos. Rye, oh, nice sidestep. Pops it high. Clark will have to fly. It's not easy for him. A candy! Oh. A beauty! Oh. Mark that down. Anthony McCartney. Superb aerial skills. Hunts it high. Looking for a repeat from uh, Georgiatis in front, but it's three on one. Easy clearance by Fisher. And, and here is Anthony McCartney again. Over the top of Tim Clark. Oh, that's big, Ross. That's big. Meantime, here goes Tranquilly for the Mustangs. And Georgiatis, a great mark. Ho, ho, ho. Or Rayo, they say in Greek, Roscoe, oh, at the yes. soccer. That is fantastic. Oh. So the margin, 19 points. Michael Georgiatis. Georgie kicked through it, they're calling from the terraces. What a kick this is, Clinton. From Vermont. He's a local boy. Whoa. He's a local hero just at the minute. 13 points, the margin. Another of their young players too, just a 20-year-old as well. Well, there's some good, there's some class players going around the competition, you know, and when you add enough senior experienced players, you get good football. We're just a little bit lean here probably with ex really good experienced players, but some fine young players, as you see there. George Artis sneaking that one through. What a game. Roosters running out of legs. They led by 42 points at half time, but maybe the taxing bus trip taking a little bit out of them. Not out of Matthew Pika. Goes direct towards full forward. Fisher at the back couldn't get it. McCartney lifting here. Kick almost hit the umpire. Bounces towards the boundary line. It will stay in though. Oh, working hard there as Collings does well. Running the wrong way. Gets around a couple. Kick smothered. That was good work by Jenkins. Boundary line looming. Brebner decides to keep it in. Does well. Shepherding. Sets it up to the middle. Good pass. Brewer's got it. He's been impressive. On the wing. Wants to play on. He, he went to the corridor then, Phil Brebner. Yes. Brewer towards half forward. Oh. Brebner overran the ball. Good soccer off the ground. Didn't see who it came by. Cuthbertson's kick touched off the boot. Fisher, handball backwards for Clark. Sits up nicely for him. He Been sidesteps the big early. man. Slater easily. Clark, delivery towards the full forward zone. First grab there by Kersner, who's been quiet since half time. Edmonds, geez, good. So good hands, you know, Edmonds. Very deceptive player. Too far out to score. Margin just 13 points, seven minute mark. Final quarter, VFL match of the day on ABC Television. Hope you're enjoying it around Victoria. Kersner kept away there. Good shepherding, Brewers got it. Clears the area. Brewer finds Tranquilly. Go. Down the middle he goes. He's got to have a field loose. So he could have run on. He's looking to feed it off, but if he just turn and run, he could have got away, I reckon. Haberfield goes short. Looking for Georgiatis. The spoil was all right by Fisher. Georgiatis, Georgiatis. Couldn't break clear. He had it in his hands. And it just slipped out. Jared Fitzgerald up there in the box. Looking pensive at the moment. Mm. Yeah, not a happy little chappy just at the minute, Jared. Maybe he'd prefer to be putting the spuds in, Roscoe. Yeah, it's a tough life, Phil. <laughs> Here comes John Polkinghorne. Charges through. The commodity prices the way they are. Jenkins takes them out. No free kick to McCartney, who's coming right into the game. Pops it very wide again, though, but he's got two on one. Good mark. Tranquilly. He could be a match winner, Tranquilly, too. He's played a fairy sort of game. Oh. 50. Hung him, pushed him down. This could be a goal. Tranquilly could be in range. He's a good kick of the footy. He'll kick from right on the 50. Inside, well inside, Clinton. He'll be, in fact, uh, by a Wes man has taken him about. I think we've got the measurement out at 75 metres, Roscoe. <laughs> well, he'll kick from inside 50. How about, does this game change? I'll, I'll sit on the fence, Phil. <laughs> Thanks very much. What, uh, you're dead right. God, Clinton, a goal here. Well, they... Look at those numbers. Yes. That's terrific. You said he could be a match winner. Possession number 22, looking for his first goal. His wife, the star basketball, Alison Cook, watching on at home, cheering this one through for a goal. Oh, now it's a game. 
it's a seven point game nine minute mark last quarter they've kicked three goals to nothing so far in this term and in fact they have kicked seven of the last nine goals in the game they're storming home well we thought early it was going to be a blowout but it has not been that they have fought back so well this box hill side and i said roscoe we had a good look at brendan mason at three quarter time very impressive i thought very impressive i like the style yes a lot of experience and uh, from the eastern rangers and uh, to bring them back they were 30 42 points down at half time it's a great fight back without their captain darren wilkinson but in the meantime hancock gets the roosters forward but that's 50 meters against Evans. third 50 meter down this end to box hill Paul Field tells me. Let's watch it now and see. Just well, he runs over the mark. You see, he yeah, goes way down. Over. He has got no right to do that, Roscoe. Ten minutes in. Seven points the margin to the Roosters in the black and white. Here's uh, Polkinghorn. They're fiddling about it back, just trying to work something out. Murray along the line. A bit of a slip. Oh, Pete got taken out of the play. Giannopoulos, the opportunist. Centers it. That's the right spot to Slater. He whips out the hand pass. Hard running, might have been Dooley looking for Nickel, comes with a oh, crunch. Well Down the ground, snap. Oh, Sakura. Oh, Sakura! Well, they're within a point if he's got it. Fantastic! Shane Sakura, ten and a half minutes in, gets Box Hill to within a point. They're kicking to the scoring end, they got the momentum. What do you reckon, Phil? But it was Nickel's goal, wasn't it? Nickel had to come yeah. from way, way back, Clinton, and I knew you were riding him there as he went in. Was he going to give away a free kick? That was the question, wasn't it? But he didn't. He just hit the hands, and, then... and he spun the handball out, and Sakura said, thank you very much. I will finish it off for you, big fella. Box and Hill have not led all day. They were down by 42 at half time. This is like the 1970 grand final all over again. The black and whites clinging to the lead, but they could be overtaken. Box Hill down by a point. What a dramatic final 15 minutes coming up. Stay with us. Slater oh, almost throws it out. Yeah, that was a throw. He's not happy. He's let off a mouthful. Let's listen in. Well, what's the rule? Did he hit it with an open hand? Yeah, or did he hit it with it? Yeah, that was well, a throw. No question. Polkinghorn. Drives at the half Let's forward. See. Here it is, you'll see it again. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's not volleyball. Here's Ride now. 55 out. Handball inside. Standing start kick from Jenkins. Out wide. Oh, oh. pressure on McCartney. They lost it. Edmonds shoveling it forward like a Melbourne Storm player. We'll have a bounce in the square. They've blocked quite well in the back half, uh, the Box Hill players. They've allowed the, other, the the secondary player to actually take a mark, or the secondary players back the prime player in. That occasion, he did it, but the player dropped the mark. From the bounce, will they concede a behind? Not yet, yeah. Oh, that's a throw. throw. It was. Oh, boy, this is a goal for the Roosters. It was a throw, though. Oh, Haberfield concedes. What's going to be a goal? Remarkable there. Well, you can understand him, yes, trying to concede a behind, but not when you do this. Oh, can you believe he did that? And it's going to cost them a goal. And Edmonds delivers. Remarkable. Edmonds has kicked a goal each quarter. He's got four. And North Ballarat, well, Box Hill still haven't been in the lead. That was bizarre. Well... <laughs> down that end oh. it's the it's the Bermuda Triangle <laughs> end of the ground it's made some goals down there today <laughs> oh. can you have a Bermuda Triangle on a footy ground Roscoe you being an economist a goal can't square. answer that question for me yeah yes, but um by Ackland made that decision. He, I think he's number 12 is he but he's lost his one has he, he looked like number two perhaps he's Try to hide. Up goes Hancock. There's the aggression that the coach called for. Knocking it forward. Oh. Smothered by Rye. Running hard. He got a serve too. Mackay goes in strongly. The Roosters have list, list, uh, lifted. Beautiful. The Knots. The Mustangs. Collins. Clear through Collins. Out to Kennedy. Harris down the line by Eccles. 13 and a half minutes. Jerry Ross yeah, wants a free kick. Team manager. Just Howard Lee looking on there. <laughs> Veteran VFA, VFL watcher. Hancock, 41, in again. Loose ball. Polgihorn in the way was Brewer. 
No chance to get rid of it. Howdly there in the, what do you call it, Pierce field? That pink? I'm not good on colours, <laughs> Ross. I think it's a beret. I know that much. <laughs> You're always picking me up on my colour blindness, aren't you? You do it deliberately. I'm sorry, it's vilifying you. Yes. I won't do it. I apologise. It hurts me too. <laughs> oh, big fist forward for the Mustangs. <laughs> up to half forward. And a throw in 14 minutes. Lots of time left in this game. We've got about uh, 27, 28 minutes. I've just got a slight red-green problem. So don't drive behind me <laughs> through the traffic lights. <laughs> uh, from the throw in, Hancock wins it down. Roosters gather possession. High kick from Polkinghorne towards the wing. McKay oh. waiting under it. But McCartney with wings there. Yes, oh, took that big mark, Clinton. And he's good, isn't he? Kicks towards half forward. In the middle of the pack was Gersman. Free kick, Roosters way. Ooh. Against Gersman. Disagreeing with Stefan Grum. Now Kennedy to clear. Towards the wing again. McCartney in front again. She, Anthony McCartney, enjoying this quarter. He's had six marks for the game now. Mustang still down by seven points. He sends it back from whence it came. And Georgie getting in front he's also had a good half he decides to go quickly high ball coming out breaking the pack again was nickel holland drag down good tackle umpire blew the whistle early on that one said give it to me we'll bounce that was a vice raptor have a look at this tackle oh god you couldn't get out of that one clinton even if you were the personality of the year for the basketball you'd still be stuck yeah. there gonna wear that tie for a while <laughs> From the bounce, inside 50. Well done, Gersman takes it. Wheels onto the left, kicks towards the pocket. Nickel there, the bounce doesn't favour him. Or will it? Or will it? Oh, the kick was a wobbly one. Boundary throwing. Sometimes things look funny, and that looked very funny as Nickel tried to kick it, and it's not a funny moment. <laughs> that is a funny scene. Go the three wise monkeys. Have a look at them. Oh, Alan Pridmore, our producer, he's... Uh, he surprises yeah, us sometimes. He He's nervous. He's barring for the Mustangs. He comes out east. <laughs> Rag's got it half back. Oh. The camera's a bit unseen. No, the cameras are fine. In How many minutes in are we, Roscoe? 16 and a half. So, uh, another 14 or so minutes to go. Up to half forward. There's McDonald flying awkwardly. Jenkins. Oh, look Measures at that. Measures the kick oh. of into Brebner. Oh, goal square. Oh, yeah, Warren. Kicks a very casual goal. He's played well. What exquisite skills there, though, Roscoe. Beautiful skills from Bren... Br was that Bren... Br 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 Brebner. There's an in, they put that other N in, it's very hard to pronounce. Shouldn't be there. will slip that in out of it. Brebner, as he turns, look at the kick. He's just off the line, you know, and that is beautiful. Quick poll, who are we going for from here? Oh, I Ross. think they'll sneak in. Yeah. I think they'll yeah, sneak Box Hill. in. Box Hill, yeah, yeah I reckon they'll sneak in. Oh, me too. They haven't led all day. They still haven't. They're down by a point as we get towards time on. Hammerfield's going to send them forward, though, with a left foot kick. High ball, Georgiatis playing in front. Oh. Couldn't get it. Phil's getting very excited. Peak to clear. On one bounce around the members' side. High ball towards half forward. Box Hill have the numbers. Mark Payne. Oh, that was hot. Kirsten's got it. Should have punched. Yes, the old punch. Two players, one at the front. Did he have it long enough? Did he have it long enough? Oh, gee, no, maybe not. good question. Good question. Well, Kersner hasn't done much this half. Kicked three goals in the first half. Oh. Hasn't troubled the scorer since. Is that Georgiatis? That's it a is. crook knee to Clinton. That is a knee. Now, Kersner, from a long way out, kicks a behind or on the floor? He squeezed it through for a behind. The margin is two points. And I think Georgiatis went down in, I don't know if Alan, our producer, Got a grab of that, but oh, the way they were holding his legs suggested the stretcher that he coming was, out. Yes, yeah. the stretcher is coming out. This is oh, deeply dear. disappointing for the 20 year old Michael Georgianis, who has had a great second half to this match, helping spark Box Hill back into this contest. We were shaping for an early finish. This will slow us down now. I don't know whether we can get that play back. The attempted marking contest from a 
couple of minutes ago. The boys in the truck working to try and find that one, but gee, what a moment this is. He was just, yeah, we'll see it. He's, all, he's out of balance, he's off balance. You can see this in the contest, but Allen's found it. Here it is again, and... Oh, yeah, just, there it is, and he goes to that knee. That right he just, knee. He will get another look, let's see. The Clinton. right knee, the right knee as he as goes As he comes down, down, oh, yeah. And he goes straight away for that knee. Perhaps Might only be a legacy medial. Of hard ground, perhaps it just seemed that the stops dug in, there was no give for him. Well, well that's a shame. A lot of discussion about grounds. See, as we... Modern grounds are not as wet as they were in the past. Got better yeah. drainage that you're playing on harder surfaces. The big jumping is often a problem. Just quickly, psychologically, how will this affect the team? Oh, well, it'll hurt them. It'll yeah. hurt them. But then again, sometimes they lift, you Deep know, they say, well, well the let's win it for him sort of thing. Well, Although Peak's going to try and deny him that on the left. Wobbly kick. Bounces to the pocket. Is this a goal? Adam Jenkins gets his second. It's a beauty. Well, they caught them napping there. Probably more importantly is George Artis has been so handy for them. That's that's the big loss because he was really giving them a target and now they've bounced back North Ballarat. Smaller players sort of drifted out of the game for the Roosters, Ross. That's been a problem. Fire yeah. away. Well, they're down to 18-2. That's what three injured players, Box Hill. I think the Roosters have got a, basically a full list. Uh, maybe they're, uh, one of their 18 is uh, carrying a bit of injury too. So 20 minutes... Uh, Perhaps a minute or so lost for that stretcher case for George Artis. So probably maybe 10 minutes of play. We'll probably go to about 30 minutes. Still time. Knocked on by Edmonds. Oh, Dooley. Good play. Good strong presence in the packs. Out to Brebner. He let it go for Jenkins. Tackled by Clark. Defensively to Collings. Puts a high ball. G Giannopoulos pushed under it by Greg. That was good play. Greg finds a man in the middle. That's a good kick. Oh, it's dropped by Kennedy. Chance for Peak. He's got the pace, his skills. Good hand pass to Polkinghorn. Ooh. Got a leading short. Ooh, and he's put down, down, is he? He is. And it's downfield. Perhaps it was Brewer, the offender. Yep. Decision was right by the umpire to Roscoe, wasn't it? No doubt about that. It was late. He's come up hurting, but he can't go off. Well, this will end it. He's a good kick, Clark. He's within range, and this would just about bury those Mustangs. Eight points, they trail. Tim Clark's kick two. He's a good-looking kick. Jumps a bit, but it's gone straight. It's gone far enough. The lead now, 14 points. Perhaps about eight or nine minutes to go. So that momentum just uh, taken away a bit. Well, I suppose that contest that George Artis was in uh, was interesting in that he nearly marked the ball. Had that mark been taken, what a difference it would have been. But that was, it was late, Clinton. You're not allowed no to do it. It's got to be upfield. The umpire's right and they pay. Gee, the coach wouldn't be happy with that. Well, that's, that's a terrible bounce. The umpire's coach won't be happy with that either as dragged away in the end, shoveled forward by Quinlan. Can he do it again, Mr. Jenkins? No, he can't. Behind. And that's two centre bounces in succession that have not oh, been good, and they've both favoured North Ballarat. And Gerard Fitzgerald looking, well, I don't know, Maddie, would we say a fraction Maddie. happier? No. No. Maddie, well, enjoy the bus ride home if they can hang on. Disney, long. Pack of players there. Ball knocked away by the Roosters. But Box Hill have got to go direct. Jenkins throws it out. Umpire said, no, I thought it was fair. Mackay towards Edmonds, paddling it along in front. Slater mets him heavily there. Collings couldn't Ooh. gab it. Polkinghorn tackled. We'll have a bounce. This is where Box Hill have to go direct. Just duck the head and on, that's the umpire seeing that. 109 plays, 94. Box Hill, as I've mentioned a couple of times, have not led at all today. Twice got within a point, but they're now down by 15. Perhaps almost time for the last roll of the dice. Slater won that ruck contest. Peak has really stepped up here in time on. Handball for Mackay over for a boundary throw in. You can have a vote this week on the man of the match. Just checking to make sure it's not April the 1st. <laughs> Slater to... Well, that's been a play footy. Nice uh, skills on the... 
volley. Empire speaking to Slater. New footy coming out. So the sting just gone out of the Mustangs with that injury to Georgie Artis. 14 points, 23, 24 minutes. What is happening here? There may have been something wrong with the football. I think they might have changed footballs. Okay, here's Slater against Hancock. Brebner kicks uh, into peak. The Mustang defenders having a terrible trouble trying to clear it. There's a high tackle in there, according to the Box Hill supporters. 50 metres, will it be? Yes. yes. Umpire Grun awarding it. Not a time to lose your cool. Either side, still Box Hill could snatch a victory. Eccles, ball in the centre. Punts to half forward. His target is Jenkins. He's uncontested in the end. At a 50 metre pill, no? What's no, happening? No, Gee, just Empire. reminding the player that he has to come out. I don't know why he was behind the mark anyway, but. Uh... What's wrong with that? Now, Jenkins has kicked two. It's a pretty good kick. Very slight breeze behind him. Close Ooh. to the man on the mark. High ball. Won't quite get the distance, will it? Big back oh! flies. And it's Gerstman. That's a mark. That's a mark. He's a, he's a strong boy, isn't he? Yeah. How old, Roscoe? Let me just check here. Well, straight out of school, Philly. Can't be 18, would he be? Yeah, he's just gone 19. From Scotch College and uh, played with the ball and football club. You're right there. I'll call it. Scotch College. Play on! Gives himself some angle. Oh, wow. I think he's best. <laughs> he hasn't. Well, Jenkins from over this side of the ground, I'm terrible. I thought he'd kicked it. I couldn't believe that. So Gerstman gives the Mustangs just a sniff of hope. Well, those Mercedes, Ben's, uh, Ben's horns will be hooting out around Turak, won't they, Roscoe? Hawthorne, Phil. Well, they all live in Turak, though, the people that go to Scotch <laughs> College. Anyway, as you see there, that's a good grab by the young black and well, a terrific goal and the game still alive Clinton they've been short quarters today 28 28 and a half 27 minutes but we've still got a couple to go nine points in it oh Slater missed the target there it was Brebner flying Ooh. Hancock had it dragged away Sakura gets the center clearance can they pull down a mark here center half forward for Box Hill ball knocked away overrun by Tranquilly Guzman working hard again shovels it out for Brewer running the wrong way back into the center square Kick towards the forward line. They should have it. Oh, they spoil each other. Jenkins was the man going for it. Clark back there stops, waits, has a cup of tea and clears it to the other side. Well done. Good delivery to John Polkinghorne. Clark has played pretty well today. Gee, Box Hill had a chance there. Oh, chance. They had three of them, Clinton. Nine points the margin. North Ballarat ahead all day by 42 points at halftime, if you don't mind. Now they're playing out time. Polkinghorne. Kicks it towards his teammate McDonald. And he sees it over the boundary line for a throw in. We've still got a couple of minutes to go. Still a couple of minutes you would fancy. Box Hill Norton two on the season. North Ballarat Norton one with a bye. Slater to the back of the pack was good for Brebner. He's been good as well to fall forward. Can they get it? Ball off hands, loping after it. The big Ruckman was there, Cunningham, but it was knocked away. And now a chance for Reich to clear for the Roosters. Handball over the top was good. Cuthbertson has a paddock on the wing. Drops the mark, oh. slips over. Oh, they managed to get away with it. Handball back to the running Reich. He's still running. He kicks it towards full forward. Oh, Brewer! Oh. <laughs> He's played well, Ross. How many stats has he had, Paul? It's been an entertaining second half, this one. He's had 17 possessions and seven marks. Hancock for the Roosters, knocks it away. Time running out for Box Hill. Roosters in possession. Mackay keeps it nicely. Shows good poise. Back to Hancock. Sold the dummy on Slater. Free kick to North Ballarat. It will come back. Against Slater, I fancy. McDonald will take it. 28 and a quarter minutes. A bit of time lost with an injury. Perhaps a couple of minutes ago. Nine points, Box Hill Trail. But the Roosters. Oh, that last have the sort of day forward, Ross. That was the opportunity, wasn't it? They should have got a goal out of that. Lost opportunities. There's probably been about four or five of them. 
The big fellow Hancock gives it all he's got, drops short. Who's in front? Oh, almost a mark to the Roosters. Hand pass out. Dooley quickly to McCartney. He's had a good second half especially. Torpedo punt, but very wide. Not into the corridor. Cunningham having to contest with Fisher, and the ball out of bounds. Again, perhaps uh, under pressure, admittedly, but could have got it more direct. Well, they'd have to run it down, get a goal out of this, and then get it from the centre bounce, you would think, if they're to win the game. Big Hancock got a serve from Fitzgerald of three-quarter time. He was behind then. Here's Brebner's played very well. Didn't quite take King for clean possession. Here's Sakura weaving his way through the pack. Haberfield oh. back to Tranquilly. It slews off the side of the boot and has gone deep into that forward flank forward pocket. Region, the signs there. Ooh. North Ballarat with their first win of season 1999. The last quarter running 29 minutes and 22 seconds. And we'll say it again, Box Hill did not lead during the course of the game. And in the end, inaccurate kicking hurt them for the second time. Well, they've kicked very, very straight, the North Ballarat team this time. They were terrible in round one. They've kicked 17-7, 109 to 15-10, 100 to win, Phil, by nine points in what turned out to be a very entertaining second half. Well, a few of those points for Box Hill were rushed, weren't they? So we, Four that of them, kind yeah. of, that, that kind of got to take that into account. Um, but they were terrific. They really were so good in that third quarter and the final quarter. And uh, George Artis going down, you asked me the question, you never can be quite sure, but he was just so critical at the time. And in fact, that, he, that piece of play that he was involved in where he nearly marked the ball and they had another opportunity, Clinton, didn't they, down here yeah. in front of us? And they didn't take it. Jared Fitzgerald, he'd be happy to get the win. They'll be all right going home on the bus to Ballarat. They can have a bit of a think about it. Be better than losing. But at the same time, there you see Georgiatis with the knee. It could be just a medial, but if it's not the medial, of course, you've got serious problems. Medial, that inside ligament, he looked good. Terrific game of football in the, in the end. end. Yeah, they went wide a lot, Box Hill. When they straightened up, got into the corridor, they were better. They had some good fighting young players there. And, of course, they lost Wilkinson early. North Ballarat, oh, gee, I, you know, I, I would have fancied they're going to be a good side. Uh, but they did struggle. Their smaller players went out of the game. That's it's something almost like to they ran about. out of legs. Exactly. And the talls then didn't contribute enough. And that's where they're still going to have a little problem in 99 as they had last year. So they led by 42 points at half time, but the winning margin for North Ballarat just nine. So they've had a couple of close ones this season, losing to Port by six points in round one. The bye last week, and now a nine point win, no doubt. All of you around Ballarat would be pretty happy this afternoon for Box Hill Norton three. Ross Booth has the man of the match. Yes, uh, our man of the match this week is Travis Rigg uh, from the Roosters. Congratulations, Travis. And uh, for the presentation, Stan Petty has uh, some keys for you. Congratulations, Travis. Good game to win, and you played a very good game too. No worries, Half a coffee Ford, keys a coffee Ford laser. Thanks very much. Appreciate well, it. Well done, Travis. Uh, lots of running there. Uh, you did get a bit of a serve by Jared at three-quarter time, saying you're a bit uh, off your man, but uh, you responded in that last quarter and tightened up and got a lot of the ball. Yeah, no, I think he was just, uh, just telling me to switch on a bit. I was a bit loose there in the uh, third quarter, and uh, the runners from Box Hill started to get their hands on the ball in the forward line, and... Uh, Firstly, just telling me to tighten up a little bit, yeah. Uh, of course, it wasn't just yourself. You, it seemed like the Roosters uh, relaxed a bit. Did you Did you think you did relax, or was it just Box Hill uh, lifting their tempo? Yeah, I think it, uh, it's probably the quality of the competition. You can't keep uh, a side down for four quarters. I think first half we uh, dominated, and uh, to expect Box Hill to uh, just come out in the third quarter and sit down, I don't think you can do that uh, in a competition like this. Yes. OK, then all your teammates call you Ruggy, but in fact you are Travis Rigg, is that right? Yeah, I'm Travis Rigg. I'm uh, Travis Rigg and Donald, and uh, I think I'm Travis Rigg in Ballarat. OK, but, uh, Travis Rigg and Donald, yeah. Travis Rigg in uh, North Ballarat, but I think maybe now it could be Travis Rigg. He stamped yeah. his name in this game. A great win to the Roosters, nine points over North Box, uh, oh, North Box Hill. <laughs> Box Hill. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. you've lost the plot, Mr Booth. Go and do some interviews from the rooms if you can. Thanks very much, Ross Booth, with Travis Rigg or Rugg, depending on what part of Victoria you may come from. Uh, it was 42 points at half-time. We seriously thought, gee, we could be in for an ugly one here. North Ballarat were all over the top of Box Hill. But full credit, Box Hill, for that second-half comeback. But I guess for Brendan Mason, when he looks, as we check some of the highlights, when he looks... Um, you know, at the running sheet at the ladder on Monday morning, they're Norton 3 and they're down near the bottom. Yes, that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. Losing doesn't help, and no matter how well you've played, I mean, the good thing is that uh, they can turn it around. They'll have learned something from the game. 
you know, they, they went wide so often. If they'd gone a bit straighter, and I, I'm sure, just trying to reflect on it now, they did go straighter in the third quarter, didn't they? And the final quarter. Yes, they but did. But, gee, Clinton, didn't they have some opportunities? And that was just a super Mark McCartney. McCartney. Yeah. And he took, an, he took a handful, and that was the one where... Oh, this wasn't Georgie Artis there. But it's funny, he went, he got injured in a similar situation, didn't he? Took the mark on that occasion. Some good young players running around. What a shame he went down. I hope that knee is only mi a minor problem, which, you know, a minor ligament problem and not a serious ligament problem. And tranquilly, I, I stamped him. I said he had a chance to win the game. I thought he had a fair bit of the ball, uh, but he, he was just off being a match winner. He kicked that goal and set things up. Well, you know, let's face it, in the end, North Ballarat won. And it's always good to win away. They've got to come all the way from uh, Ballarat. They, their small players were terrific, but they tired. Sakura added some life wow. to the Box Hill team. That was a terrific goal. He kicked a couple of goals in the second half. Oh, in fact, uh, the former Eagle and uh, really did give them a bit of a spark. And at this stage, we thought Boxer were in it. Then that throw against Haberfield, remarkable. He said he punched it, but really it looked like it was a throw, didn't it? Well, when you consider Clinton that goal, then when they got up the other end and they didn't take the mark, two players on their own, when you consider the holding the ball that should have been paid to the left of screen in the third quarter, like there's three or four turnovers there that that should have been goals, and yet that was... He was Rebner. terrific. He, he was, was a candidate for man of the night. Oh, for sure. That was a class goal. Yeah, Just that terrific. That no, again got that... them back to within a point. You see the numbers in the end. Box Hill, oh. in terms of kicks, 20 more kicks, 26 more marks, nine less hand passes, free kicks, North Ballarat by four, and in the end, Slater did well in the second half in the ruck duels. Well, North Ballarat's going to... Yeah, well, Ross, uh, we're going to come down. You ask Gerald Fitzgerald if he thinks his talls can stand up when it counts for me, will you? Right now, Phil? OK, <laughs> well, uh, Phil Cleary's passed on the message. Uh, do you think his talls can stand up uh, for you? Uh, they were brilliant in the first quarter, uh, first half, uh, but perhaps, uh, as you said, at three-quarter time, you felt your uh, your team went to sleep. You said, I think, the possessions are about 90 to 30. Yeah. You, you yeah. gave a bit of a serve, so... Yeah. That was the reason. Yeah, well, you know, I think of the most important principles of the game. Ross, you've got to win the ball, and we stopped winning the ball, and, and the consequences were obvious, weren't they? But, uh, look, our, our best is going to be good. Now, how good, obviously, time will tell, but, uh, you know, we can't play like we did uh, halfway through the third quarter and halfway through the last quarter. That, that's a standard which isn't acceptable, and we've got to learn from that. We'll, we'll stay with Ross for another minute. Or and uh, perhaps the... Uh Injury to Georgiatis, who just came an opportunity to just sort of settle you boys or just broke their momentum. You know, I mean, it all looked like they were going to run over the top of you. Yeah. I mean, you looked a worried man in the box, I must Oh, I was, yeah. I think any, any North Ballarat person would have been very, very worried. And the viewers at home would have been worried because there was a complete turnaround. But it's something we'll obviously work out and uh, and overcome. Early in the year, you can have uh, topsy turvy games, I think, Ross, that, that do fluctuate very widely. And you've got to remember, Box Hill kicked eight goals in the last quarter last week, too. Uh, I know they were well and truly beaten, but. They've obviously got a lot of spirit and they're very fit side and they run well, so uh, you know, they're full marks for them as well. Yeah, so you had the bye last week. Uh, that, that, that affect you because you had a, a tough uh, workout against Port Melbourne and but perhaps yeah. you just sort of get into the season and you have a bye. Oh, yeah, like a, but I just always think the bye is an opportunity to uh, to freshen up. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's early in the year or later and you don't have any control over it anyway, so uh, we just made sure that we had the bye and then we tried to make the most of it by uh, you know letting our players, our staff, our club people get away and uh, enjoy a weekend away because it's a long year. It is. Now, uh, player depth, who can you add to this, uh, this uh, side perhaps, Sam? Oh, yeah, no, he's a fair way off playing, he? unfortunately. He's still got some problems, Sam. He's doing a little bit more work, but he still has got some soreness there. So he's, he's, he's not right, and he won't be right for a while. Our, our best side, we're still very unsure of, Ross. Uh, we made three changes last week. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll still make some changes and keep turning the players over. But uh, last year, we kept getting better as the year wore on, and uh, we've got to do the same this year. OK. Well, Jared, uh, thanks for that. It was Pleasure good to see you with a change of emotion there, Phil. As, you know, ex-teacher and ex-farmer. It's a very tough day at the office, I can say that. A very tough day, Phil. <laughs> tell you. And, Ross, do you want to get some more interviews for us or not? We'll leave it with you, perhaps, if you do. It's good to hear from Jared. Uh, I think Jared feels like he'd rather be out on the plough, you know, than uh, coaching. But, look, I look at their side, Hancock in the ruck, 
He's worried about Sam Smart coming in. And uh, Julian Kersner at full forward drifted out of the game. I just wonder, their smalls are good, but the talls have got to stand up as well so the smalls can keep getting the ball. And if your talls don't, your smalls can drift out of the game. And that's a bit of a balance problem. Well, that's where Slater really exerted some oh. influence on the game in that second half for Box Hill. Without a doubt. And when you look at that's what those tall blokes, yeah. Georgiatis as well, they became keys. And Clinton, when they got going, the smalls came into the game. And we all know this, when you play, you need your talls to stand up and then the smalls keep themselves going. 17-7 to 15-10, our final score today. You orchestrating these finishes for us. We've had some beauties, haven't we? Absolute pearler. Let's have a look what's coming up tomorrow in the VFL. Get along to your local ground or to the Witten Oval. That will be a blockbuster tomorrow. Williamstown against Werribee, a classic there. And Footscray, Preston play Port Melbourne at Preston, Frankston at home to Bendigo, Springvale at home to Sandringham. Coburg have the bye. Next week, we'll be live from Sandringham as the Zebras play Frankston. Phil, thanks for your company today. See you next week. The Seaside Cup next week. It'll Seaside be great. Seaside Cup next week. Thanks to Ross and all the team here. The basketball coming up next and also Sunday basketball tomorrow morning. Don't miss it. Bev, hope you enjoyed it this afternoon. An absolute thriller. As you said, it couldn't have ordered better. And thanks to Phil and our media personality of the year, voted by the NBL. And our congratulations from the rest of the ABC Sports team to Clinton. He does a fabulous job.